Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Marvel. I am Black Widow Godfather and my strength was exposed by the Scarlet Witch. Chapter 21. Because we're the FBI. Hawkeye Barton immediately took out the papers, but Lorna wittily didn't look at them. I see you guys are fake, get out. Lorna said directly. If you dare to stop me, even you will fight together. Lorna said domineeringly. In particular, her eyes combined with her micro-expression, which made the equally elite Natasha and Barton feel very uncomfortable. Then you can try. Everyone present was proud, and in the face of Lorna's words, naturally they would not be counted. So Barton replied, and directly set up a bow and arrow and shot it. Phew, Lorna raised her hand, and the arrow was controlled. Her eyes narrowed slightly, obviously angry. In her opinion, she had already warned these two people, and even made a move on her, that is, she didn't know how to do it. With a wave of her hand, the controlled bullseye was attached to the bellows, and then the bellows was also controlled by Lorna and dispersed into metal strips, turning into a prison cage, directly trapping the bullseye in the middle. Bullseye did not have any resistance, and when he saw this scene, he knew that he was finished. Can't run. His whole body was desperate. The last time he made a move on Erica, he encountered the existence of Kei Chen, a suspected mutant. This time he made a move on Erica and ran into this green-haired woman again. Kei Chen and the people around him were simply his bullseye nemesis. The bullseye who finally relived once was extremely remorseful, and he had already known that he had investigated it clearly. But now regret is useless, he can only hope that the two FBI agents in front of him defeat Lorna. But obviously, this is a fool's dream. Natasha and Barton are both ordinary people, how can they be Lorna's opponents? I saw Lorna turn around, her right hand emitted green light, and Barton, who was still preparing to shoot arrows, was controlled and flew. With another wave of her hand, Barton's whole body flew out, her head hit a stone brick with a hook, and she fainted instantly. If it is an ordinary person, I am afraid that he will die directly if he hits this blow. The situation that was originally a two-on-one changed in an instant, leaving only Natasha and Lorna one-on-one. -on -one. Barton. Natasha saw that Barton was instantly knocked down, and she was also angry. She wasn't afraid of Lorna's mutant abilities. No matter what, she was also trained by the Red House, and she was still the best Black Widow. Fear of this emotion has rarely appeared in her anymore. Natasha was ready to give Lorna a good look. Her whole body flew out, and she adjusted her position in the air, trying to capture Lorna. Mutants are generally accustomed to using their own abilities, and once Lorna is in close combat, Natasha can easily handle it. In fact, it is true, Lorna does not have melee combat ability, she has the ability to mutate and cannot practice fighting or something. Because that's not needed at all. Sure enough, before Natasha could get close to Lorna, her whole body was fixed. Lorna just raised her left hand to her, her palm glowing green, and Natasha found herself stopping. It's just that her forward momentum is controlled, and her limbs are still controlled by her. What the hell is going on here? Natasha wondered inwardly, she was guessing Lorna's mutant abilities. She took out the pistol on her waist, but before she could move, the gun was also controlled by Lorna and flew out. Lorna in front of her is like a master who controls everything in the world. No, there must be something she can't control. Natasha is trying to find Lorna's weakness. But her whole person flew out uncontrollably. Ah! Natasha was sturdy and fell on the roof, even her physical fitness was a little painful. But she also discovers that Lorna controls her by controlling her waist. Definitely not to control her body, but the things on her body. At this moment, Natasha thought of Magneto. She removed her belt, struggled to get up from the ground, and attacked Lorna again, but sure enough, Lorna couldn't control her. Found your weakness. Natasha had a smile on her face, as long as she got close to Lorna, then she had a hundred ways to put Lorna down. Yes. Lorna smiled slightly. The whole world is her home turf. After her hair turned green, Lorna has been improving her mastery of mutant abilities. Mutants' abilities can be developed gradually, and their control will increase. That's why Professor X wants to run the college. She grabbed it with one hand, and everything around her that could be controlled by her was blocked in front of Natasha. Natasha saw the steel plate in front of her, and her scalp suddenly felt numb. Is it really controlling steel? or rather a magnetic field. 
Boom, Natasha had no room to fight back at all, and was directly slapped out. She couldn't get near Lorna at all. Natasha, who had fallen to the ground, couldn't stand up either, and she needed to slow down. Fortunately, Lorna's temperament is not violent, and she has no intention of killing them. Natasha lay on the ground and watched Lorna leave clutching the bullseye, knowing that she was finished. It's just the first round. Looking at Lorna's back, Natasha said secretly in her heart. She is a character who likes to compete, and to put it bluntly, she does not admit defeat. It is this tenacity to fall and get up that makes her the best Black Widow and breaks history. Although this time it was a fiasco, it also allowed her to understand Lorna's mutant ability. If she fights again next time, as long as she is prepared, it will definitely not be so miserable. But that's also too hard. With Lorna's ability, it is almost impossible for normal humans to defeat her. Hey, don't play dead. After a pause, Natasha shouted to Hawkeye Barton in the distance. Barton, who was lying on the corpse, smiled awkwardly. Erica was a little anxious to see that Lorna hadn't come back for so long, and she had just changed into a ninja suit and was about to go to find Lorna, when she saw Lorna fly down. Do you know him? Lorna dropped the bullseye directly on the ground. After Erica saw it, she was shocked. Bullseye. Facing Lorna's doubtful gaze, Erica said in a deep voice, he should have been killed by Kei Chen earlier, how did he live again? Back from the dead, Lorna also smiled, and then knew something. His body is all metal, maybe that's why. Estimated so. Erica also analyzed it. I just don't know what metal is so powerful that it can save the bullseye. But this also became the shortcomings of the bullseye, and was directly restrained to death by Lorna. Even if it is 10,000 times, the bullseye cannot be Lorna's opponent. Who told him to be covered in metal? How to solve him? Lorna asked Erica. Neither of them is good, and Erica, as a ninja and killer, has killed many people. At this time, he will naturally not do anything stupid to let the tiger return to the mountain, but will only want to completely kill the bullseye and no longer give him any chance to come back from the dead. We can't be too cruel, Lorna said after thinking about it. If she wants to kill the bullseye easily, just disturb the metal in his body, and even make the bullseye directly explode. But that was too bloody for Lorna. So what are you going to do? Erica asked, her expression obvious, she wanted to kill the bullseye, no matter what method was used. She doesn't want to see the bullseye survive anymore. After all, Erica is not Batman, and she will not watch her enemies jump in front of her eyes again and again. Throw him into the sea. Lorna is ready to get an iron cage and sink the bullseye directly to the bottom of the sea which is the same way Magneto dealt with Wolverine. The difference is that the bullseye does not have the self-healing ability of Wolverine, and there is only one way to face this fate. Therefore, hearing such a cruel death, the bullseye, who has been silent, protested. Can you just kill me? Bullseye opening is said. He knew he couldn't live, he just wanted to die a little faster. In other words, he is Erica, and he will not tolerate the life of the person who assassinates him repeatedly. So the bullseye didn't expect to escape. Especially after seeing Lorna's strength, she was directly desperate. No longer struggling. You don't have a choice. Lorna smiled slightly, and as soon as she put her hands together, an iron cage trapped the bullseye. Then she threw the cage on the car, and Erica drove the cage to the beach. Although it was night, they still attracted a lot of people. Erica can only run a red light to speed up, ready to pay the fine came to the beach, Lorna directly controlled the iron cage and threw it into the sea, and specially confirmed whether the bullseye was dead. After returning to S.H.I.E.L.D. which will be used in the future, Hawkeye Barton immediately reported the matter to Lorna. Even with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s abilities, she doesn't know who Lorna is. S.H.I.E.L.D. checked for a long time, and could only give Lorna a file first. Green-haired mutant with the ability to control steel or magnetic fields. Nothing else. Which is also normal, Lorna was abandoned at birth and raised in an orphanage. After leaving the orphanage is similar to a homeless person, no driver's license means no ID card. In the United States, driver's licenses and passports are equivalent to ID cards, without which you are black. Lorna is like that, she doesn't even have a stable residence, and she still doesn't have a driver's license. Shield is also at a loss in the face of this situation. 
Even if you find the orphanage where Lorna stayed, it is impossible to know what is happening now. So Nick Fury didn't know that Lorna originally mixed with Kei Chen. This matter can only be investigated slowly. But S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't pay much attention either. There are so many mutants in this world that S.H.I.E.L.D. is obviously unable to manage it. Actually, S.H.I.E.L.D. is not that powerful. Biological son of the United States. S.H.I.E.L.D. was formerly known as the Science Strategy Corps, and later Howard invited Peggy Carter to form S.H.I.E.L.D., and the money channel became the Five Rogues of the United Nations. Although the United States pays a lot of money, it is not the only financial owner, which means that S.H.I.E.L.D. is not a biological son. You know, there are many organizations in the United States, and it is a long time, like the FBI that S.H.I.E.L.D. often impersonated, what was S.H.I.E.L.D. during the Hoover period. Even the post-war rebuilding of the CIA is much older than S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s only advantage may be that it has absorbed many HYDRA members. Erica drove Lorna home and did not leave immediately. Because K. Chen is back. K. Chen has been playing crazy with teleportation these days. He used to travel six hours from coast to coast, but now it only takes a moment. This happiness, who has tried who knows. He is essentially a fun-loving person, with new abilities, not as swaggering as hot eyes, naturally have to try more. And K. Chen also tried it out, the so-called know where to go, he can find a picture, and then he can teleport. Where he will appear in the picture, provided of course that this place really exists in the world. In short, this is a good ability to use. But K. Chen felt that he was still not handsome flyer. When flying at the speed of light, there is no difference from teleportation. After returning, he saw Lorna and Erica with heavy expressions. You're back. Lorna carried her purchases back to her room while Erica sat next to him. What happened? K. Chen saw the two of them unhappy, and also asked directly. Do you remember the bullseye? That Jin subordinate. Less than PIDX equals, 67, greater than Erica turned her head to look at him. Of course, isn't he dead? Of course K. Chen remembered the bullseye, and he thought that Jin would come to make trouble. Results or not, he also thought that the bullseye was not very important to Jin. He is not dead, or rather, he came back from the dead. Quote. Erica began, which surprised K. Chen. Oh, but Lorna has already solved him, Lorna says that he is covered in metal and easy to restrain himself. So it is. K. Chen didn't know why. He doesn't know much about either Kim and Bullseye. I only know that Jin Hei's strength is very strong, but no matter how strong it is, it is just a human being. Although he is a human can kill Spider-Man with a few punches, it is nothing remarkable. Because the superheroes who deal with Kim are not great guys. Daredevil in Hell's Kitchen, and Spider-Man, a good neighbor in New York. Daredevil at this time did not know whether he debuted or not, anyway, later, he had already met Spider-Man Peter Parker. Also recommended himself to be Peter Parker's lawyer. Thinking like this, K. Chen immediately decided. He wants to solve this problem once and for all. Gold is a full-fledged jerk from any angle. That he hadn't looked for him before, and K. Chen decided to let him go. But now Kim has resurrected the bullseye guy, although it has been completely solved by Lorna. But killed his men twice in a row, this beam was naturally knotted. Since the two sides have a feud, then K. Chen naturally wants to kill him. In fact, K. Chen just did whatever he wanted, he didn't want to get gold before, but now he thinks about it, it's that simple. But he didn't tell Erica. Erica's strength is definitely not Jin He's opponent, and it is of little use, as long as she tells her this surprise at the end. This is not to look down on Erica, but there is no need to take risks. K. Chen deals with enemies, likes to crush directly, does not like to have back and forth with the enemy, that is brain-dead behavior. Although strictly speaking, this is his first shot against Jin. The next night, K. Chen sent Erica home and prepared to go out to find Jin. Although he has many abilities, he does not know how strong his strength is. This is also the reason why he has never made a move. The system requires him to keep a low profile and hide his strength. In fact, there is no system requirement, K. Chen has always been a person who likes to enjoy life. Fighting and killing is completely inconsistent with his personality. Modern society is already very harmonious, and K. Chen has never used his own ability. To deal with the kind of punks, using hot sight these abilities is overkill. 
decided to go to Jin and make a move, Kei Chen was also a little excited. No matter what, Kim is also the number one person. Especially in New York, Kim is the real underground emperor, controlling the entire underground world of New York. Unfortunately, his excitement was seen by Lorna, who strongly asked to go together. Thinking that Lorna was strong and had some combat experience, Kei Chen also agreed. The two drove the car and went directly to the city. As for finding Jin He, it was still relatively simple for Kei Chen. New York by day and New York at night seem like two cities. New York during the day can only see high-rise buildings and raging crowds. But at night, you will find that this is paradise. This is a city that never sleeps, where it is like being in the cyber world, full of youthful and beautiful figures, all kinds of skin. In the safe zone, even if you play late, you can do it, because there are people patrolling it all the time. They mainly target Blackie. It is not for nothing that Blackie is discriminated against in the United States. Detroit used to be a motor city, because of the indiscriminate entry of the blacks, resulting in a large number of whites leaving, money and technology all left Detroit, so it soon became a crime city. Where there are many small blacks, where there will be chaos in social security. Because they are lazy to the extreme, do not produce, only think about extortion and robbery, and their favorite thing may be, zero yuan purchase. And they still can't control themselves, they sow seeds everywhere they go, and immediately abandon them after giving birth to children. The vast majority of black kids have to stage, where did daddy go, in childhood. There is no doubt that Kim is a proper racist. Blacks were not allowed in the Golden Mansion, and there was no blackie under him. Seeing blackie on the street, Jin will let his men beat him up. Getting out of his car, Kim walked grimly towards his building on crutches. His heart couldn't wait. Kim didn't know that Bullseye was dead, and this time completely dead. Although the Bullseye is his subordinate, he often disappears for a while when he goes out to do tasks, and Jin is used to it. He got into the elevator and made his way to the underground lab. This huge underground space makes the quantum collider in the middle look extremely petite. It is covered with white flakes to avoid any problems when opening the passage to the parallel world. When Kim arrived, dozens of scientists in white coats were already in full swing. All machines have been commissioned countless times to ensure that there are no surprises. They all know about Kim's cruelty. Not only cruelty to the enemy, but also to one's own people. Whoever dares to spoil his business will be crushed into pieces. Already ready, Jin's hands on crutches trembled slightly. After the death of his son Richard, he was so angry that he almost started a world war in the underworld. And after killing his wife Vanessa with his own hands, Kim was extremely remorseful. As it turns out, he is also a person. If it is a person, he will have seven emotions and six desires, and even the underground emperor of Jin and this underground emperor will kill it. Kim did everything he could to save it all, and that was the one he had the best chance of. Parallel Worlds Parallel Worlds, also known as the Multiverse. The Multiverse is a theoretically infinite or finite set of possible universes, including everything that exists and exists all space, time, matter, energy, and the laws and constants of physics that describe them. The concept of parallel worlds comes from quantum mechanics, and in the 50s of the 20th century, there were physical scientists who proposed this concept. Today, many scientists believe in parallel worlds or multiverses. It's just that with the current technology of human beings, the passage to the parallel world cannot be opened. This is also the case, and it was later a series of reasons that Marvel opened the key to the multiverse. And it's magic, the dark magic of the Scarlet Witch, the forbidden magic of Doctor Strange, and the female Loki stabbing Kong the Conqueror to death with a sword. What science can't do, magic does. However, Kim does not know this, and he does not believe in magic, only science. In this sense, King is not a materialist, as determined as Tony Stark. Therefore, Jin spent a lot of money, found countless physicists and scientists, and built the quantum collider in front of him. It is a big power consumer, which can drain the entire New York electricity almost instantaneously, which is extremely terrifying. In fact, Kim was able to build this thing thanks to Tony Stark's father, Howard. During World War II, there were not many black technologies in the Marvel Universe, and the reason why so many black technologies emerged later was because Howard proposed countless concepts and theories of the future world. 
Wakanda has grown by leaps and bounds because of Howard's ideas, and many others have benefited from it. In Howard's concept, the quantum collider is powered by a reactor. Jin naturally can't have that thing, and he doesn't specialize in technology. Therefore, the only choice is violence. As Kim knocked on his crutches, all the scientists sat in their places, ready to turn on the machine that had taken countless painstaking efforts. Let's get started. Jin he looked at the red button in front of him, and his heart suddenly surged with excitement. As countless buttons were opened, the quantum collider in front of him rotated wildly, causing the white flakes attached to the surrounding ones to be pulled a little. 10, 9, 1, exclamation mark quote. As the countdown reached 1, Kim snapped and pressed down. Boom. At this moment, the quantum collider collided together at extreme speed. The impact of the collider shattered the laboratory glass above in an instant. The powerful impact knocked everyone out. No one knew what was happening, because at this moment the world seemed to fall silent. New York, known as the city that never sleeps, is plunged into darkness at this moment. Countless people screamed, this is an unprecedented situation, human beings still have an unspeakable fear of darkness. In the S.H.I.E.L.D. building, countless agents are working overtime, and Nick Fury is no exception. He looked at the material about Lorna through the light. S.H.I.E.L.D. has found the orphanage, but still doesn't know anything about her. This is true of anyone, when you are a child and when you grow up, you are two different looks. Many mutants don't know they're mutants at first, because it's just because of the X gene in their bodies. Many people have the X gene in their bodies, and some people cannot obtain the mutant ability for a lifetime, and some people are slightly stimulated, and the mutant ability is activated. Obviously, this is the case with Lorna, and she was really ordinary during the orphanage. At this moment, snap, in an instant, the entire shield building fell into darkness. Nick Fury was startled and subconsciously took out the weapon from the drawer. But when I turned my head, I found that the whole of New York was plunged into darkness. Did I make a mistake? Which guy dropped a nuclear bomb? Otherwise, how to make the whole of New York blackout? Tap da da. At this time, the sound of high heels came from outside the office. Fury. In. Maria Hill came in from outside with a flashlight, and she immediately said, the whole of New York has a power outage. Quote. I saw it. Nick Fury was speechless. We suspect that it was Kim who made the movement, and his building collapsed to some extent. Maria Hill ruffled her hair. What is this guy doing? Nick Fury was extremely angry and immediately decided, take someone with me and arrest him. Quote, he has long been unhappy with Kim. But Kim he's hands and feet are clean and strong, and Nick Fury has not moved. Now that Jin he had made such a big move, he could no longer turn a blind eye. After an unknown amount of time, power was restored throughout New York. You know, New York has not had a power outage for 21 years since the 1977 blackout. This is where it never sleeps. New York's power supply system is extremely powerful, and it is a miracle that Jinhei's quantum collider can black out the entire city. In the underground laboratory, Kim stood up from the ground trembling on crutches. Even his body could not block the impact of the quantum collider, and the whole person almost fainted. Needless to say, at least half of them died on the spot, and a few were unknown whether they were alive or dead, and there was glass flag everywhere on their bodies. Disrupting parallel worlds comes at a cost. But Kim didn't care. He looked at the huge space below, because the impact of the explosion collapsed slightly, and someone would definitely notice. The quantum collider has been damaged and apparently cannot be turned on again. Kim didn't want to turn it on again, because what he needed was already there. The Vanessa he remembered and Richard who was a little scared in her arms. The quantum collider could not open the channel of the multiverse, but brought Vanessa and Richard from another universe to this world at the request of Jin He. Obviously, it worked. As for what the impact is, who cares? Jin He immediately sorted out and walked over. Vanessa, Richard. He said tremblingly. Dad, Richard, who was still a child, asked in surprise. He was as big as Kim remembered, and no one would hurt him this time. Yes, come here, Richard. Kim and opened his arms, but Richard was hugged tightly by Vanessa. Who are you? You are not Kim and. Vanessa looked at Kim nervously. Although the Kim in front of her is exactly the same as the husband she remembers, the woman's sixth sense tells her that they are not alone. Jin he said coldly, 
I am Jinhee, Vanessa. Another world's gold. It doesn't matter if he thinks about whether he is himself in another world or not. If you have the ability to build a quantum collider in another world, and then bring Vanessa and Richard back. The strong Jin did not explain much, and forcibly left here with the two. He ordered his men to deal with all those who were not dead, leaving not a single one alive. These people had experience building quantum colliders, and Kim didn't want anyone else to build them. In Jin He's view, the quantum collider is actually very terrifying, making him a little afraid. But for his own bright future, Kim decisively chose to build. But this fear, don't let others bear it. When he returned to the surface again, the entire Jin building collapsed a little, but fortunately, the construction team who built the building for him did not dare to cut corners, and it was built completely according to the earthquake level, and there was nothing serious. However, Kim did not know that he could stay any longer, so he asked his men to hold the building, and he took his wife and son to the roof. K. Chen drove Lorna from Long Island to the city center. Using his telepathic ability, he easily found the location of Jin He and directly flew over. If it weren't for the fact that he hadn't been here, he could have reached it in a teleportation. But just then, they suddenly found that the whole of New York was in darkness. Except for a little light of moving cars on the street, the whole of New York seems to be swallowed up by a dark dimension. Everyone was frightened, frantically stepped on the brakes, and directly began to drift. At this moment, K. Chen thought that Dormammu had defeated the old bald head of Ji Yi and directly swallowed the earth into the dark dimension. K. Chen had also worried about whether Ji Yi would find him before. But he soon realized that he didn't have to care. Unless the earth was invaded by the dimensional demon god, or the entire earth was about to be destroyed, Ji Yi would not care about other things at all. And knowing the place of Karmataj, K. Chen did not have the idea of learning magic. The magic of the Marvel world is the same as the magic, the price is more terrifying than the other, and there is no need. After falling into a period of panic, they finally know what happened, not that the earth was swallowed up by the dark dimension, but that New York was blacked out. Thinking of what he thought just now, K. Chen was a little embarrassed. It's really a little surprising that New York, the city that never sleeps, has a power outage. Wait, just as K. Chen was about to continue starting the vehicle, Lorna shouted loudly. What's wrong? There's ice in front. Lorna pointed ahead and the two immediately got out of the car to check, only to see that I don't know when, a piece of solid ice appeared in front of K. Chen's Dodge Challenger. If he starts the car directly, I am afraid that he will crash his car. K. Chen was surprised to find that there was still a person and a shield in this lump of ice. Looking at the shield with the rice character, his expression changed a little. In the ice was a person and a shield, and the shield just covered his face, but through his figure, K. Chen still found that it was a woman who was frozen inside. Although she dresses a little like Captain Steve, there are still slight differences. K. Chen's expression was even more strange. Didn't Captain America show up early? So how did this come about? Even the well-informed K. Chen didn't know what was happening at this time. This is the effect of the quantum collider. Although it does not fully open the multiverse, it brings more than just Vanessa and Richard, but others. The multiverse is not arbitrarily controllable, and any small change can have a huge impact. K. Chen and Lorna looked at each other. Subsequently, he brought the captain, who did not know what to call it, directly back home. He held the solid ice, teleported back to his villa on Long Island, threw it directly into the bathroom, and drove the bath bomb to help her thaw. Then he teleported back to Lorna again. Don't blame him for acting recklessly, it's really more important now. And I don't know why, K. Chen always feels that all this is related to Jin. In the feedback of telepathic ability, Jin and the people around him were extremely nervous. Settle Jin Ji first, K. Chen prepared to care about nothing and said to Lorna. Lorna also nodded, her expression very serious. Now that New York is a bit chaotic, it's a good time to get started. He parked the car around the corner and rushed over with Lorna. At this time, the Jin mansion was already waiting for a strict formation. Let me come. Lorna was excited. When K. Chen saw her like this, he naturally followed her wishes. I saw Lorna pass K. Chen and come to the closed building. The first floor of the building is glass barrier, and it is difficult to break. Lorna stretched out her hands and the green energy flashed. 
Boom. At this moment, all the windows on the first floor shattered at the same time, and the debris was impacting into the building. Jin He's subordinates, who were hiding inside, were instantly shocked and flew out backwards. There are very few elites under Jin He, basically they are gangsters, how strong can their combat effectiveness be? If not, Kim wouldn't be able to reuse Bullseye as a mercenary. Against powerful enemies, Kim does not usually ask mercenaries to do it if he does not do it himself. Erika has been a mercenary of Jin, not for money, but to exercise her strength. Fire. Jin He's men immediately got up from the ground, saw that Lorna dared to come in alone, and immediately shouted. Tap da da. Countless guns opened fire instantly, just like a fire breathing dragon, and the muzzle flame seemed to light up the night. But I saw Lorna raise her hand, and the green light surged and the world seemed to fall into silence. These thugs did not dare to stop and shot all the bullets, but these bullets were all fixed in the air by Lorna, forming a bullet net. The scene was so horrifying that the thugs ran out of bullets and forgot to change the magazines. They stared at them stunned, forgetting to dodge. With the wave of Lorna's hand, the bullets were returned at a faster speed, and all the thugs became bloody men in an instant. Even Kei Chen behind Lorna was a little dumbfounded. It's worthy of Lorna, it's really a seen person. Lorna turned her head and looked at Kei Chen with a smile, the corners of her mouth glanced slightly, with a unique temperament. Kei Chen also didn't think that Lorna was a little violent or something, killing some thugs, he didn't have a psychological burden. This time, I came to find Jin in trouble. It is impossible to kill only Kim and one person. Could it be that the thugs who became golden and tried to kill them, and they still let the bullets hit? It's not funny. Jin He, who looked at the monitor, frowned at this time. Where did these two people come from? He thought about it for a while, and he didn't know which enemy sent the killer. Jin never imagined that Kei Chen and Lorna came because of the bullseye. His wife Vanessa and Richard were even more frightened. The two of them were still in a state of confusion. Inexplicably Kim and into this world, although familiar but strange. The same is true of the gold in front of you, how can people not be afraid? But Kim didn't have time to pay attention to that, the green-haired woman was a mutant and they had to survive. Jin has just been reunited with his family, and he doesn't want to cause tragedy now. His good days have just begun. Without saying a word, he left all the thugs to guard the place, and then asked people to turn off the elevator, while he dragged Vanessa and Richard to the roof. The thoughtful Kim has arranged everything long ago, as soon as the helicopter arrives, they can fly away. He took refuge for a while, and when he returned to New York, he was still the underground emperor. Lorna destroys all the cameras. But Kim certainly knew they were coming, so he didn't waste time. However, when they pressed the elevator, the elevator was suddenly turned off. The elevator was originally on the top floor, but the display became, maintenance. Ha, huh, Lorna sneered, only to see her hands emitting green light aimed at the elevator door, and the elevator door was directly pulled open by her. Then she pulled upwards, and soon there was a violent friction sound. Boom, the elevator was pulled down by her directly from above. Although the elevator was a little damaged, it was enough for them to stand up. Kei Chen didn't expect that Lorna's ability was already so strong. In fact, this is also a very normal thing, Lorna's mutant ability is already strong, and now it is still against ordinary people, it is simpler. Even against mutants, Lorna doesn't necessarily lose. The gap between Lorna who is not green and already green is too big. This means that her mutant ability has been completely activated, and her future is limitless. In the comics, Magneto's daughters are ruthless. Lorna and Wanda's strength is more perverted than the other. However, in this world, Kei Chen is not sure if Lorna is Magneto's daughter, and Wanda the Scarlet Witch is definitely not. They were born into a family in Sokovia and were not Magneto. Leave it to me next. Kei Chen said to Lorna, watching Lorna perform for so long, he also had some itchy hands. His abilities are no longer weak. Even with Batman's combat ability only, he can kill seven in and seven out from the Golden Harmony Mansion, not to mention him who has the ability to do so. Don't worry, I'll block bullets for you. Lorna blinked, as if she was going to die for him. In fact, she only needs to use a little ability to block all bullets. Under her control, the elevator went up a little tremblingly. This made Kei Chen afraid that he would fall. 
On the top floor of the Jin building, all the thugs nervously held the guns in their hands. Although they all knew that Jin had given up on them, they did not dare to run away without permission. Instead of being killed by cruel gold, it is better to die at the hands of others. This may still be a good thing for their families. Click. Soon, there was a crash sound in the elevator door in front of him, and then the elevator door was pulled open by an invisible force. The thugs, who were already trembling with fear, instantly pulled the trigger in their hands. One guy also came out with a bazooka and wanted to blow up the elevator. This strong gunfire was heard by everyone outside the Jin building, causing a lot of chaos. After Nick Fury's group arrived, he immediately sent people to evacuate the crowd, and then let people enter the building carefully. They simply don't know what's going on. The gunfire lasted for tens of seconds, and the thugs were eager to shoot out the bullets. But they immediately despaired. All the bullets stopped in midair, and they couldn't even see the situation in the elevator. Except for the rocket, all the bullets fell to the ground as Lorna removed control. But before they could see the people in the elevator, a red light was emitted. I saw that Kei Chen's eyes turned scarlet in an instant, and his expression became a little hideous, and his hot vision instantly burst out. In the midst of a scream, like cutting straw, all the thugs were cut in an instant. Or the evaporation of the world. This scene is like a massacre imagined by the people of the motherland, the crowd is like straw, and as soon as the hot sight sweeps by, all the straw falls to the ground. It's a pity that there are not enough thugs here. The heat line of sight directly passed through the glass and walls, and even people outside could see a red light suddenly coming out of the building. This layer was instantly destroyed by Kei Chen, but he felt very refreshed. The ability of hot sight is too powerful. How cool would it be if he were a real superman? No wonder many people say that if Lao Tzu has the strength of the motherland, it must be an ancestor. This power brings everything refreshing, beyond words. Lorna was dumbfounded on the side, only feeling that such Kei Chen was a little strange. In addition to lamenting Kei Chen's strength, he was gentle and elegant before, and he had never been so violent. But after sighing, Lorna was very happy. Who doesn't want someone they like to be stronger? Kim doesn't want to run. Kei Chen scanned the circle and immediately found Jin He. Naturally, he took Lorna directly up the stairs to find it. The people of S.H.I.E.L.D. were helpless, the elevator was violently destroyed by Lorna, and they could only climb the stairs if they wanted to go up. Even for physically strong agents, climbing so many flights of stairs is not an easy task. Jin didn't expect Kei Chen and Lorna, a man and woman, to be so powerful, and when he saw that the helicopter was about to stop, the door on the roof was opened. Underground Emperor Jin rarely showed his gentle side. He protected his wife Vanessa and son Richard behind him without showing any heroic nature. It was hard to get a wife and children from another world around, and now they are abandoned. Isn't that Kim brain dead? This friend, we don't seem to have any hatred. Jin He looked at Kei Chen with a crutch in his hand, and the helicopter behind him slowly landed on the roof. If it weren't for his wife and son, he would have jumped on it and flew away. But not now. He looked at Kei Chen, completely unaware of where Kei Chen came from. Of course there is a hatred. Kei Chen looked at Jin and said with a smile, Your bullseye came to us twice to trouble. Quote. For Erika, Jin sighed when he heard this. He was also aware of something. I didn't expect that Erika, the woman, could hold the thigh of someone like Kechen. Although he didn't know what Kei Chen was capable of. But being able to kill all his subordinates is certainly not ordinary. What about the bullseye? Dead, you can go down and find him. Hearing Kei Chen's words, Jin He squinted. The bullseye injected with Edmund Metal was dead. Jin didn't say anything more, and at this moment, Jin didn't know that there was no room for maneuver. Although he didn't immediately go to Erika's idea. But Erika killed Bullseye, and he will definitely go to trouble after the incident. Just didn't expect that Kei Chen and they found it first. It is directly to strike first to be strong, and then to suffer. Kim suddenly raised the crutch in his hand. He is not too fat to walk, nor is he just showing his authority, in fact, crutches are his weapons. As an underground emperor, Jin is not a brainless fool who is muscular and can only fight, he is even very sinister and knows how to play pig and eat tiger. His crutches are like penguin umbrellas, always hiding secrets. At this time, it was lifted, and a laser shot directly towards Kei Chen. 
If it hits directly, it will directly punch a hole in Kei Chen's chest. But Kei Chen's reaction was fast. He immediately dodged, not expecting Kim to be so insidious. No wonder Spider-Man has been defeated by gold three times and five times. Seeing that the blow failed, Jin pressed the button on the cane again. A cloud of smoke suddenly erupted from the cane, causing both Vanessa and Richard to cough. In fact, Jin also put poisonous mist in it, but obviously could not poison his wife and son. Let's go. Kim also put his wife and son on the helicopter first. He does have something great in this moment. He had already suffered from having no loved ones and did not want to return to that lonely situation, so he did his best to protect Vanessa and Richard. Perhaps among the countless multiverses, there is no second such repentant Jin. However, just when he wanted to get on the helicopter, he was directly pulled down by Kei Chen. He did not strike at the woman and the child, after all, these two people are innocent. Jin he turned around, and an electric light flashed on his cane, like an electric shock rod, and flung towards Kei Chen. He didn't want to kill Kei Chen, he just wanted to run immediately. But he underestimated Kei Chen's melee combat ability. Kei Chen easily dodged his attack, while Lorna controlled his cane and flew out, avoiding injuring the two of herself. Jin could only fight hard with Kei Chen, but Kei Chen did not fall into the downwind. But he also had to admit that Jin He's strength was very strong. In order to make a quick victory, Kei Chen directly controlled Jin He with his telepathic ability. Jin just felt that his body did not belong to him anymore, and he was extremely shocked. And in just a moment, Kei Chen knew everything Jin He did. After seeing Jin He's memory, Kei Chen also looked strange. He finally knows what all this is all about. Kei Chen never expected that Jin He had created the legendary Quantum Collider and brought his wife and son from another world. This is something that only magic can do in Kei Chen's opinion, and science can actually do it. Of course, he also guessed that the sudden appearance of the ice cube is presumably the effect of the quantum collider. I don't know which world's captain was brought here, and he had to wake up so many years in advance. After seeing all this, Kei Chen felt that Jin was really a madman. He dares to think and do. Jin is really a complicated person, as an underworld boss, it is also a little incredible that he has such a great obsession with his wife and son. It can only be said that Kim is also a human being. As long as it is human, there are weaknesses. Do you have any last words? After knowing everything, Kei Chen asked. Jin is not a madman, and since he provoked a madman, he must be completely solved. Don't kill Vanessa and Richard. Jin he looked at Kei Chen and said, as if he wanted to imprint Kei Chen's appearance in the depths of his soul. After all, he had just found his wife and son when he was destroyed by Kei Chen. What pain is this? I won't kill them. Kei Chen nodded. But they won't be sent back. Because the quantum collider has been destroyed, I don't know if others can build it. He made Kim look at him, and his eyes turned scarlet. Zig. A powerful hot gaze instantly emanated from his eyes, directly piercing Jin He's eyes, and I don't know how many degrees of burning temperature, directly evaporating Jin He's brain pulp. Jin just let out a scream, and it completely softened to the ground. At this moment, he didn't even have a soul. After doing all this, Kei Chen looked very indifferent, he had long expected this day. After he gained strength, he actually had some disregard for human life. With a sharp weapon, the killing heart rises. The motherland version of the heat vision is not as good as Superman, and cannot be close to the temperature of the sun's core. But it is also invincible in the world. Dad, Richard on the helicopter jumped straight down. Vanessa also jumped down directly. They are all a little helpless, because if Kim is dead, they are equivalent to having no backers. But they didn't dare to hate Kei Chen and Luo Na, the gap in strength was too big. Lorna glanced at them with pity, and then instantly disappeared in place with Kei Chen in her arms. When the shield people finally climbed up, they only saw the helicopter flying away from afar, while Vanessa and Richard were holding Jin's body in place. They immediately walked over, only to see that Jin He's death was very tragic, his eyes were burned, and he didn't even have a trace of brain pulp. Nick Fury got the surveillance and knew what was going on here. Kim also built the quantum collider for his wife and son, and got Vanessa and Richard from the parallel world. Even Nick Fury feels that King is not a neurotic. 
Unfortunately, the quantum collider was destroyed, and all the scientists were dead, otherwise he could have immediately asked S.H.I.E.L.D. to rebuild one. Now he can only drag the destroyed quantum collider back to see if he can study something. It was really possible to open up a parallel world, and Nick Fury was a little excited. He thinks more about profit than about science. Nick, these are two hands-on people. Coulson found Nick Fury with a clip. They looked at it, and Nick Fury said silently, green hair again. Quote, looking at Lorna's performance, it is estimated that it is her. Maybe you can absorb her. Lorna's abilities are powerful, and Nick Fury wants her to join S.H.I.E.L.D. Provided that Lorna can be found. The United States is an open country, and there are not many people who dye their hair green. Especially for St. Patrick's Day, many Christians like green, which they believe represents vitality and health. So don't say hair, other places may be green. Nick, do you feel that this man is familiar? Coulson asked at this point. Nick Fury suddenly said, do you think too? Although there is only K. Chen's back in the picture, for the agent, it is easy to remember a figure that has been seen. Even if they couldn't remember for a while, where they had seen this back. There is only a vague memory. This also means that this figure is not important to them at that time, otherwise their memories would not be so blurry. Check it out, Nick Fury said. Bring back all the good things here, as well as Jin's wife and children, to see if they have the virus of another world. His expression was serious. Kim is not a professional, and naturally it is not clear how dangerous this is. If people in the other world carry germs that they don't have in their world, the fun is great. No matter what kind of terrifying virus, it has the potential to take tens of millions of lives in this world. This is no joke, especially the reaction speed of Western countries. What the capitalists are most good at is to pit the poor, especially Lao Mei, who use the excuse of free vaccination to inject syphilis into the body of blacks. This kind of thing is not once or twice, and the more times, the black people also learn to be smart. Gratuitous, that must be a pit man. This experience may not be right, but at least I can't suffer a loss. Therefore, once a virus spreads, you can imagine what the United States will become, it will definitely become a purgatory on Earth, which is extremely spectacular. Soon, Nick Fury saw King's body. Jin He's body was the only one of the many dead people at the scene that was relatively intact. He walked over to take a look, and saw that there was still hot air coming out of Jin He's eyes from time to time, and a burning smell that I don't know what kind of stench was in the air. Even Nick Fury, an old agent, couldn't stand it. He hadn't gone to the top floor to see it, that one was even more spectacular, and the air on the entire floor was filled with the smell of burnt meat. What is this ability? Nick Fury took a deep breath of fresh air, and then asked Maria Hill who came over. Maria Hill did not act better than him, and her expression was always grim. Jin's wife and son said, the terrifying man's eyes erupted red lasers, and then Kim became like this. Shish, Nick Fury took a breath of cold air. This is a ruthless person. He was also ready to send someone to find the two figures, but now the idea faded. Ordinary superheroes will not kill at all, even those mutants will not be so ruthless. This may be a simple vendetta rather than an act of justice. Peggy Carter wakes up from a long slumber. She felt like she had a long, long dream, which might last longer than her life. So much so that the moment she opened her eyes, she still felt that her head was a little dizzy. But looking at this strange ceiling, it immediately woke her up. She sat up from the bed, everything that entered her felt strange. When did the bed become so comfortable? The same goes for quilts, what brand is this? And the various furniture in the room, all things she had never seen before. Peggy Carter was a little dizzy, but she didn't have any memories in her mind. She watched her change and changed into a very beautiful dress, but she had never seen this style, but that didn't mean she didn't appreciate it. Her skin is even whiter and scary, as if it were snow. Panting, Peggy Carter wanted to know what happened, but couldn't remember anything. She just solved Schmidt and let the runaway plane hit the ice, how did she get to this place? At a glance, Paige saw the vibranium shield placed aside, not her own costume, but it still made her breathe a sigh of relief. Click. At this time, the door was opened, and a tall oriental man dressed handsomely walked in. Captain Carter, are you awake? K. Chen looked at Paige Carter, who was a little dazed in front of him, and smiled. 
he also did not expect that it was Captain Carter lying in the ice, not Captain America. However, he still knows about the endless multiverse, and he doesn't feel too outrageous. Who are you? Seeing that the man in front of him knew himself, Paige also asked. My name is Kay Chen. Kay Chen said as she walked down from the bed, she was very uncomfortable with the skirt on her body, she almost never wore it like this during the war years, she just felt awkward. Captain Carter was about 1 meter 8 meters tall, which surprised Kay Chen. This may be because she was injected with super soldier serum, after all, Captain America Steve's petite size can grow into a muscular man, and Captain Carter has no reason not to change. And, so big, K. Chen thought in his heart that he was disrespectful, and he had just met now, and it was not good to stare. Peggy Carter himself is gifted, and then injected with super soldier serum, which is no longer describable. Even the well-informed K. Chen could only express his amazement in a rare way in the world. You changed my clothes. Captain Carter asked with a look down. It's me. Before K. Chen could finish speaking, Captain Carter punched him directly. The super soldier reacted too quickly, subconsciously thinking that K. Chen was a rogue. Fortunately, K. Chen was not slow to react, and immediately caught her punch, otherwise he would break the phase when they met for the first time. It's my sister, Lorna. K. Chen said immediately. Paige then realized that she was wrong to blame Kei Chen, and she was suddenly a little embarrassed. Why not finish it in one sitting? Seeing her embarrassment, Kei Chen suddenly smiled and said, You must be hungry, right? Eat something first. I know you have a lot of doubts, and I will answer them to you slowly. Captain Carter looked at his smile and nodded in trust. She glanced at the vibranium shield, but finally did not take it, followed Kei Chen downstairs, and saw the hearty food. Are you from Washa? Yes. No wonder, I've eaten Chinese food. It's no surprise that Peggy Carter is a World War II veteran and well-informed. Eat. K. Chen asked her not to be polite. Lorna was driven by him to Erica's house. Not bad. Paige tried it and immediately said with a bright eye. The main thing is that she is also hungry. After being frozen in the ice for so long, there has long been no energy in the body. If it weren't for his strong physical fitness, he would have been unsealed by Kei Chen so simply, I'm afraid that the people would be gone. After the food was down, the two naturally chatted. Kei Chen told her everything he knew, and there was nothing to hide. He could be sure that Captain Carter was from another world. Maybe it came from the 838 universe that Doctor Strange went to later. The more Paige listened, the more shocked she became, and the result of the shock was to sweep away the food in front of her. She actually came to another universe, and also through what Quantum Collider, just so unexpectedly came over. Paige, who knew all this, said that she could not accept it. After eating, she rushed out of the villa, her eyesight was very good, she saw the modern high-rise buildings on the opposite bank across the sea, and she was no longer able to speak. Although New York has been a modern society for a long time, it has changed over the decades. Looking at this completely strange era, Peggy Carter was a little confused. At this moment, Kei Chen came to her side and hooked her shoulder. If it was an ordinary moment, if a man dared to touch him like this, Captain Carter would definitely have thrown him directly over the shoulder, but now she didn't. Just glanced at Kei Chen and knew that it was the man in front of him who saved him. After all, she was frozen in ice, and Kei Chen could completely ignore her. That way, even if she is a super soldier, I am afraid she will not survive. Kei Chen looked at her and saw the confusion in Paige's eyes. This is also normal, and half a century is enough to numb people. What's more, now Paige has come to another universe. Here, she is not the famous Captain Carter, just a nobody. At that time, the social status of women was very low, and even now it is not high. How many people will remember Peggy Carter? Kei Chen said in a gentle voice as much as possible. Maybe this is a good thing, anyway, this world is not much different from your world, even if you wake up over there, I'm afraid it will be decades later. Here, you can start over and live the life you want. The most important thing is that if in her own world, the ending will be very bleak. As a member of the Illuminati, Captain Carter was directly beheaded by the Scarlet Witch Wanda with her own shield. Paige took a deep breath when she heard this, she didn't wear lipstick, but her lips were still bright. 
She gradually accepted Kei Chen's statement, and there was really no difference to her, an old antique. Can you tell me about this world? Of course, what do you want to hear? Kei Chen asked with a smile. It's best to start with World War II. Kei Chen put his arm around Paige and went back to the house, and then let go of himself. He began to talk to Paige about World War II in this world, which was a new thing for Paige. Moreover, this place is very different from her world. Of course, in general, World War II is actually not much different. The difference is in the details. The world that became a super soldier was Captain America Steve Rogers. In Carter's world it's clearly herself, and that's the big difference. Is Steve Rogers the best candidate to become a super soldier? Maybe yes, maybe not. In countless parallel worlds, there is always a little bias. In fact, in addition to Steve Rogers, there is one super soldier experiment best candidate who has always been around, and that is Peggy Carter. Professor Alkin's choice of her may have something to do with the times, or with discrimination. But it is undeniable that Peggy Carter has the same noble qualities. This can be known from the fact that she and Steve Rogers had the same action with the fake grenade. Professor Alkin's values quality but discriminates against gender. In the 838 universe, Professor Orkins suddenly did not care about gender, and directly selected the most suitable person for the experiment. That's Peggy Carter. There is no doubt that she succeeds and becomes Captain Carter, while Steve Rogers of that world disappears. When Kei Chen and Carter exchanged world intelligence, both of them were a little surprised. Is Steve the world involved in the super soldier program? Paige asked with some surprise, she wanted to confirm this. That's right, are you familiar with him? Kei Chen asked seemingly casually. Wouldn't Captain Carter have a date with Steve Rogers in another world? That's too fun. Fortunately, he thought too much. I only heard Paige say. I don't know, I just saw it. Professor Elkins originally wanted to choose him to participate in the experiment, but in the end he chose me. A smile appeared on Kei Chen's face when he heard this. It seems that Captain Carter after becoming a super soldier does not look at such a skinny Steve Rogers at all. It's not normal to see it, and the two don't match up at all. The reason why Paige in this world looks at Steve is also because after the super soldier experiment, his whole person has changed, and Paige is fascinated. Otherwise, the skinny Steve standing next to Paige would definitely be a bird man. You and he are a couple in this world, I mean, do you have a partner in that world? Hearing Kei Chen's words, Paige was also a little embarrassed. She said, No, at that time, World War II was not over, how could I have the heart to fall in love? Quote, it turns out that no one has chased it yet. This is also normal. Captain Carter, who became a super soldier, must be difficult to chase. Seeing Kei Chen's smile, Paige seemed to know what he was thinking, and immediately changed the topic. The world has me too. Of course, the Peggy Carter of this world is Captain America's lover. This statement made Paige a little embarrassed. There is always a feeling of empathy. No way, who calls them all Peggy Carter? The main thing is that Steve's thin body gives Paige too deep a memory. She could hardly imagine herself falling in love with such a person, even if Steve in this world was Captain America, she couldn't imagine it, she just felt embarrassed. No wonder, I often dream about my life as a super soldier, and it seems to be the same as you said. Paige said, explaining slightly. When Kei Chen heard this, he thought thoughtfully. In the Marvel world, dreaming is actually the key to connecting parallel worlds. Everything in the dream is just my own experience in another world. It is not surprising that Paige can often dream about herself in this world. She has long had a quantum connection with the world. It's like Dr. Strange later dreaming that he died in another world, but it's all real. Then the problem came, Kei Chen was surprised to find that he had never dreamed. People without dreams mean that they are unique in countless multiverses. This also means that there may not be another Kei Chen in other worlds. Instead of telling Paige about this, he began to help Paige get used to her new life. It was about to turn the 21st century, which made Paige feel unaccustomed. Two years later, she will be the old monster of the last century. Paige felt novel at almost everything. Some things were already there in her time, but some things came later. Washing machines, air conditioners, refrigerators, these things, she can accept immediately, but they have become more, futuristic. 
She knew Howard Stark, a genius who had a lot of speculations about the future and had pretended to be with Paige. When pretending to compare, Howard also took the opportunity to steal Captain Carter, but was directly slapped by Paige, and no longer dared to have the slightest delusion. Saying this, K. Chen coughed twice. This Captain Carter is really violent. For new gadgets such as computers and mobile phones, Captain Carter is a little unacceptable, and it takes a certain amount of time to fully accept these new tools. Waking up after 50 years of slumber takes a long time to adjust to modern life. The lifestyle, the background of the times have changed dramatically. The main thing is to change the concept. K. Chen felt that Captain Carter had to be more open. In her time, women were severely discriminated against, and although this problem still exists, it will not be long before women's rights will emerge. In fact, this is a good thing, women's awareness has increased, but many people use women's boxing to make their own profits. Looking at all kinds of beautiful clothes, Captain Carter didn't even dare to try them. It took a long time to instill ideas in her. Fortunately, Lorna and Erica did not discriminate against her, but admired her after knowing her identity, and helped her adapt to the new world with a female perspective. Because she is the equivalent of Captain America in another world. As for Paige of this world, already very old, seven old and eighty, will not affect her much. In short, going back is not going back, and Captain Carter slowly accepted this matter. Therefore, in the beginning of a period of time, she knew that Kei Chen had good skills and always pulled Kei Chen to spar. For this kind of good thing, Kei Chen naturally would not refuse. Sparring, it's normal to have a little body collision. Kei Chen liked Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu the most, and specially practiced with Paige. Although Paige is particularly heavy every time, he will not be injured with his physique. After knowing each other for a long time, Paige became more and more integrated. She didn't mention leaving. In fact, in this world, she only knows a few people Kei Chen so far. And given that there is another her in this world, she doesn't want to run around. For this, Kei Chen was not in a hurry. Paige had long seen that Lorna was not his sister, at most adopted. But she didn't say anything more, her heart was already obvious. It's just that Paige is a little confused, and she seems to have suddenly lost her purpose in life. Captain Carter felt very confused. She woke up like Captain America, and she couldn't find her meaning in this era. If it had been during World War II, her skills might have been able to come into play. She can join an organization at will and play a little role as the only super soldier, and no one dares to despise her because of her gender. But coming to this world, this era, she doesn't know what to do. So after a while, her favorite thing turned out to be watching TV. This can help her accept the era and also kill time so that she is not so bored. She wants to show the meaning of her life, but through various channels, she knows that the world does not seem to be in danger. What can she do? Kei Chen talked to her a lot, asking her to return to the ordinary. But Paige obviously doesn't just want to get married and have children, which is a bit tortuous for her. So she was left to get by. But life is like this, living in this world, who does not have to get by. It's just that some people are happy, and some people are sullen. There are also people who desperately search for the meaning of life. And for Kei Chen, it's good to be happy. He has a casual mentality, no matter what happens, he can stay calm and find happiness in ordinary life. If only he didn't get old. Coming to this extraordinary world, he had the longing of mankind since ancient times. That is longevity, that way, he can be happy to live with his friends and family all the time. In 1999, he set his birthday on April 1st, April Fool's Day. In Kei Chen's opinion, this day seemed to be a fool of him. He came to this extraordinary world, and so many incredible things happened. He was really afraid that some great god was fooling him. It would take nearly a year for Paige to completely adjust to life in the new world, and no one would bother them. The affair with Jin He, along with his death, seemed to be completely over. In order to make Paige adapt, they will make it very heavy every holiday. For example, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Paige gradually has a sense of belonging to this new home. She was still very touched by Kei Chen. In her world, no man had ever touched her so much. The fate of Captain Carter is different from that of Paige in this world, she is not a vassal but has her own value. 
At that time, the only man around him who was considered good was Howard Stark. But such a bad playboy, how could Captain Carter look at it? In this world, K. Chen saved her and treated her as family, which made Captain Carter a little move. However, she is also more independent and conservative than the current woman, and has not expressed anything so far. After all, she is British, and the British roses are notoriously conservative. In fact, the United States is also open to the minority, and most people are conservative because there are so many religions here. The reason why K. Chen feels open is because of the places he goes. Happy birthday to you, the four people gathered around the table, wishing K. Chen a sumptuous dinner. Although the dinner was made by K. Chen, it did not prevent them from coming to rub the rice. It's hard to get together once and be happy today, K. Chen said with a smile and took out the high-grade red wine. There was no one present who couldn't drink, so they were all happy. The red wine was all sipped, but the four of them drank it quickly. Erica drank a lot, and she planned to rest here tonight. She rarely has time to come here. Because her father is getting bigger and bigger, he needs her help. When Kim was alive, Erica's father was a New York businessman and had a grudge with Kim. So after Kim died, her father began to annex Kim and the property he left behind. As a result, Erica also had to help, whether it was something on the surface or secretly. Today is also a rare relaxation for her. After drinking the red wine, she looked at K. Chen with silky eyes, obviously wanting to occupy him. Seeing this, K. Chen couldn't help it, and he still wanted to attack Paige. Only wait for next time. Paige naturally pretended not to see it, and she also knew K. Chen's style. Fortunately, K. Chen is not the kind of jerk that Howard Stark does not refuse, otherwise she would not be able to be moved by K. Chen. The current degree is still within the scope of Paige's acceptance. After all, for them, as long as they are not married, everyone has a chance. After dinner, Lorna cleared the table with her mutant ability. The dishes and chopsticks all flew into the kitchen by themselves, and then the water turned on automatically, and there were very few things that required her own hands. Erica was a little dizzy and went straight up. Paige. K. Chen hugged Paige, who was also preparing to go back to the room, from behind. I'm a little tired, go back to my room first. Paige let him hold it for a while, then ripped his hand away. If half a year ago, she would have fallen over the shoulder without hesitation. Hey, hey, K. Chen followed her up to the second floor and went back to his master bedroom. It wasn't until I entered the room that I retracted my gaze. Paige's figure is not so perfect curves, unlike Erica's small waist. Captain Carter's figure highlights a large, plump everywhere, and very comfortable to hold. It can only be said that the super soldier serum does have something. After a break, he began the sacred thing. Bathe and burn incense. For this annual check-in, he attaches great importance to it every time. After all, this kind of thing does not happen every day, otherwise he would have been indifferent. It's like before, the first thing you wake up every day is to check in, just commemorate the number of days, other things, who cares? It can only be said that this annual check-in pinched his mentality. He waited nervously for time to pass, wondering what good things he could get this time. Congratulations to the host for successfully surviving for six years, hiding his strength, and getting the check in reward, the Fountain of Eternal Life. The Fountain of Eternal Life. In order to obtain the Fountain of Eternal Life, the Dragon Emperor Zheng Zheng tried his best to gain nothing, only one drop was needed to allow people to obtain the power of eternal life, and since ancient times, no one can resist its temptation. K. Chen looked at the large bottle of eternal life fountain in his hand, and suddenly fell into ecstasy. The fountain of eternal life is not only immortality, but also immortality. With just one drop, K. Chen can maintain his current state, and always will be. And Natasha, who has a symbiotic necklace, can also obtain his state, absolutely. Just when K. Chen was happy, the door was opened. Erica, who said that she was a little dizzy, changed into a ninja suit and pounced. Incomparably ferocious, early in the morning, K. Chen felt that his waist was numb. Batman's physique is not up to the top, and he has to have a superhuman steel body, I'm afraid he can carry the murderous Erica. No wonder the old saying goes, there is no cultivated land, only tired cattle. In fact, 
Erica is also so tired that she can't get up, otherwise she can't say that she has to exercise in the morning. Kei Chen went down to make breakfast, ready to take advantage of the three of them here to drink the fountain of eternal life. There is a way for one person to gain the way, and the chicken dog ascends to heaven. He has good things, and naturally he wants to share them with the people around him. Long-term vision is actually a very boring thing, especially if there is no one around you, it will be boring to the point of wanting to die. For example, Tivin, a famous collector in the universe, his wife accompanied him for three billion years, but she was tired of longevity and gave up her immortality. Anyone who accompanies you will feel that immortality is a torture, not to mention that there is no one to accompany. As for Kei Chen himself, he had already secretly used a drop of the fountain of eternal life for himself, there was nothing unusual, only his life was growing. It's an endless life. Soon, Paige, who was in some bad spirits, came down. Didn't sleep well last night. Kei Chen looked at Paige and asked. Paige immediately glared at him. This made Kei Chen a little inexplicable, because the sound insulation of the villa was excellent, and even if Paige lived in the room next to him, it was impossible to hear it. It can only be said that the woman's heart, the needle under the sea. Here, drink this, each of you has it. Kei Chen said. He handed a cup to Paige. What is it? Paige wondered. It's so petty, there is only one drop. And it doesn't look much different from water. The fountain of eternal life. For Paige, Kei Chen did not hide it. What? Paige's shocked little eyes looked at Kei Chen. Paige, I want you to stay with me forever. Kei Chen said seriously. Paige is alone in this world, and it is unlikely that she will go back, as long as she does not run with Miss America, who can travel the world, America Chavez. Therefore, Kei Chen directly told her that this was the fountain of eternal life. In fact, even if she asked Paige to go back now, she would not necessarily leave. Because in that world, she still has no familiar people. What's the point of going back? Paige looked at Kei Chen, became a little affectionate, and chose to drink this drop of the fountain of eternal life. She already knew about Kei Chen's mystery and chose to believe him. Who doesn't want eternal life? If it is true, it is naturally an excellent thing, and there is no way to be fake. However, in this kind of thing, Kei Chen should not lie to her. Because today is not April Fool's Day. I didn't say I wanted to stay with you all the time, I just wanted to live forever. Paige, who licked her lips, saw Kei Chen's hot eyes, and suddenly said with a short breath. Fortunately, Lorna broke the embarrassment. Seeing Lorna coming down, Kei Chen did not hide it, and let her also drink the spring of eternal life. If anyone trusts Kei Chen the most, it is Lorna. Her life has changed because of Kei Chen, and she is dead set on Kei Chen. Even Kei Chen's two goddaughters would probably not have Lorna who trusted him so much. Lorna was even more excited when she drank the fountain of eternal life, and there was no woman who didn't want to maintain her beauty forever. Especially now is the most beautiful time in her life. White women are like this, 15 to 25 years old is the most beautiful grade, and by the age of 30, the quality begins to decline significantly. That's why there have been countless copper smelting incidents in the United States. It is in response to that saying that no one is always 18, but there are always 18-year-olds. But this doesn't work for Paige and Lorna, who can be 18 forever. They can stay young forever and keep their best time. Soon, Erica came down with difficulty, and Kei Chen did not tell her the truth, but directly let her drink. Erica didn't care either, didn't ask about this, ate breakfast and left directly. She's still busy. It's not that Kei Chen doesn't want to tell her the truth, but Erica is involved differently. She still has parents in this world, what would she think if Erica knew that this was the fountain of eternal life? Therefore, Kei Chen was selfish once. He didn't have many fountains of eternal life, and who knew if her parents would leak it? If eternal life becomes an easy thing to come by, no one will cherish it. The days are flat again, and time flies. Paige gradually got used to this life. After all, she had been living in the tense World War II period, and there would be tasks for her to do at any time. This habit is difficult to change for a while, and she is slowly accepting the current, slow pace. It's like many veterans of the battlefield who don't feel secure when they return home. This is a habit formed on the battlefield. But Paige is okay, she won't be insecure because she's strong enough. 
they learned a lot about Paige, who often singled out the Hydra base during World War II. The thing that makes Paige most proud is that Hydra has been eliminated. K. Chen smiled every time and didn't say a word. Hydra was destroyed. We'll give you a surprise. Of course, surprise is certain, and Paige doesn't know if she is happy or not. The origin of the organization of Hydra, K. Chen did not know much, but he knew that it was not so simple. Hydra is a mysterious organization that has existed for thousands of years. Schmidt, also known as the Red Skull, during World War II, was actually just one of the Hydras. The Supreme Council of Hydra is the Council of Nine, and Schmidt is only one of the Nine, and he has been kicked out of Hydra during World War II. Therefore, the true identity of the Red Skull is actually just a loser in the power struggle in Hydra. All he can represent is the Hydra and his diehard loyalists in Austria, and the other Hydra doesn't take him to play. But even so, the Red Skull almost destroyed the world. The most terrifying thing about the organization Hydra is that after the end of World War II, four of the nine major consortiums in the United States were controlled by Hydra. Even presidential elections, Hydra can be manipulated. This is also the reason why Hydra has bases all over the world, he is really huge, and he is not comparable to S.H.I.E.L.D. at all. Therefore, it is natural that S.H.I.E.L.D. was easily infiltrated into the Serpent S.H.I.E.L.D. by Hydra. Really think that absorbing a few scientists will make S.H.I.E.L.D. become Serpent S.H.I.E.L.D.? Then they should not study science, but how to brainwash. In fact, after the establishment of S.H.I.E.L.D., Hydra's Council of Nine set its sights on this organization, or did Hydra help Howard and them grow? Mutant Academy Time flies, it is close to the turn of the century, and Paige, who is watching TV, finds it a little interesting. Of course she knows mutants, because in her world, she has met a few, and her abilities are very powerful, not inferior to her super soldier. What Captain Carter remembers most is a little boy who was activated by the Germans with a mutant ability to manipulate magnetic fields like Lorna. Therefore, she often looked at Lorna with strange eyes. She suspected that Lorna was the descendant of the child she had met. Every time I think of this, it makes Paige feel strange. Professor X, she hadn't heard of this person, so she watched the news carefully. What's wrong? K. Chen sat directly next to her and put his arm around her shoulders. For this kind of action, Paige has long been used to it, so it doesn't matter. Sometimes, the bottom line is lost step by step. It's just that Captain Carter hasn't noticed it yet. Watching the news, I heard that mutants rescued several astronauts from the universe. Paige explained to K. Chen. K. Chen also watched TV. On TV, Professor X and others are being interviewed because they have done such a sensational thing, so they have been treated like heroes. This is not easy for mutants, and most ordinary people are afraid of them. This situation will only be better if you enter the heroic age. When superheroes enter the sight of ordinary people, everyone will gradually accept all this. Soon, he also knew what was going on. The United States had just launched a space shuttle endeavor, and as a result, controllers on the ground detected a huge energy similar to a solar flare at high altitude and the spacecraft lost contact. So, after receiving a call, Professor X sent the witch, Phoenix Girl and others to rescue these astronauts. Of course, this also comes at a cost. Even mutants, no one will be able to survive in the universe. The universe belongs to the territory of the gods, and the Asgardians can't survive in the cosmic environment for too long, let alone mutants. In this operation, the X-Men paid the price of Phoenix Jean Grey to save everyone. The Phoenix girl is dead. Seeing the news, K. Chen was a little incredible. But he soon realized that the Phoenix girl was probably going to blacken soon. Jean Grey is not so easy to die because she is the host of the power of the Phoenix. The power of the Phoenix comes from the primordial universe, born at the beginning of all things, is a chaotic and immortal, eternal but impermanent existence, and is a child of the universe. It is the embodiment of life and spiritual power in the primordial universe, symbolizing life and emotions. The power of the Phoenix has been looking for a host in the universe, and finally found Jean Grey, how can Jean die? Although it is only a fragment, Jean Grey is the host who has the power of the Phoenix for the longest time even in the comics, and after completely fusing with the power of the Phoenix, she became a white Phoenix. Of course, judging from the current situation, she is afraid that she will become a black Phoenix. Is she strong? Paige asked inexplicably. 
Of course. Kei Chen explained the power of the phoenix to her. Paige was dumbfounded. And this power, what's the difference between that and the gods? It's a pity that Jean has been restricting himself from using the power of the phoenix. Kei Chen sighed. I saw Paige immediately asked, how do you know this? I only know a little. Kei Chen said casually. His mysterious style made Paige want to understand him thoroughly. But it came later than expected. Jean did not immediately blacken when she woke up, but was still the same as normal. Kei Chen, who had not seen the big news for a long time, was also a little disappointed. Human beings are common in some ways. For example, eating melons. As long as they are not in danger, many people can calmly eat melons on the side, and they can also comment on two sentences. After all, everyone has curiosity. However, Kei Chen waited for a long time and did not wait for this shocking melon. Instead, Tony Stark sent an invitation again. Everyone born in the 20th century is looking forward to the turn of the century. Because the vast majority of people's lives can only go through the turn of the century. Only once in a hundred years. How many people will live a hundred years? So at this moment, the whole world is in a kind of carnival. Mankind is entering a new century. Tony Stark, as a playboy, naturally wants to take advantage of this time to play. At the New Year's Eve party, invitations were sent out again. Kei Chen was idle and bored, and naturally agreed. However, no one accompanied him this time. Lorna doesn't like to be lively, and Paige is indifferent to the turn of the century, after all, she is precisely a person who does not belong to this era. After all, she is a person from another world, and there is another her in this world. Most importantly, she knew that Tony Stark was Howard Stark's son. She doesn't believe that Peggy Carter of this world has no intersection with Howard. It would be embarrassing if Tony Stark saw her shouting Aunt Carter. Moreover, when he knew that Tony Stark was just like his dad, Paige didn't like him. Paige didn't like Howard in the first place, how could she like his son? With all this, Kei Chen could only go to the meeting alone. He was still very worried about those glamorous and cheap goods. On the last day of 1999, the streets were filled with joy. Everyone had a smile on their face and everyone had to say, Happy New Year. People who have not experienced this day are unimaginable. Many singers have created songs to welcome the new century, and they are full of joy. Because people believe that the new century will be better and life will change even more. In fact, it is also true, technology has been advancing by leaps and bounds, and the 21st century and the 20th century are completely different, as if there is a technological era. Being born in this era of technological explosion is undoubtedly a very happy thing. Kei Chen galloped on the street, feeling this breath and involuntarily relaxed. Smiles are contagious. When I arrived at Stark Building, the banquet was almost beginning. The arrival of celebrities from all walks of life fills the place with the atmosphere of drunken gold, and handsome men and women shuttle through the halls, boxes and offices. Hey, are you Mr. Ketchen? As soon as Kei Chen got out of the car, he was blocked by a woman. The woman has long black hair, dignified facial features, and looks like an aristocratic temperament, just like Captain Carter's British style. You are, Kei Chen confirmed that he had not seen this person, so he asked curiously. I'm Maya Hansen. The woman in front of her immediately introduced herself. I am a scientific researcher, and I would like you to help introduce Mr. Stark. Quote. Obviously, Maya Hansen in front of him has done her homework and knows that Kei Chen is the majority shareholder of Stark Group. This news is generally unknown to people, because Kei Chen basically does not appear, but just let Erica find an agent in the Stark group. Of course, this agent is of little use and cannot do anything. It's just so that Kei Chen won't lose his ability to banknote. Oh, do you have something going on? Kei Chen asked Maya Hansen curiously. He wanted to see what was important, and even asked him to introduce Tony Stark. I represent Pioneer Technology. We have a research project that will change the world if we can get Mr. Stark's support. Maya Hansen said excitedly, saying this like a technology madman. If this project is successful, people with disabilities around the world will become normal people, all diseases will cease to exist, and this will become the greatest invention of the 21st century, looking. At the excited Maya Hansen, Kei Chen seemed to realize what it was. Desperate virus, he looked at Maya Hansen and asked lightly. 
You know, Maya Hansen was also stunned. She didn't say anything, how could Kei Chen know it all by himself? Kei Chen didn't answer, just asked with a faint smile. How can you be sure that if the desperate virus research is successful, it will not become a money-making tool for some people? What you said is completely unrealistic. Neither Tony nor your partner will give it to others for free. It must be to make money. How can there be no disabled people in the world? The purpose of capitalists is to make money, and even if a desperate virus is developed, it must be sky high. Maya Hansen was silent when she heard this, and apparently she knew so. But at least it's a great study. Yes, so I can only help introduce you to Tony. Kei Chen said casually. It's just a matter of raising your hands, it's simple. The main thing is that there is no need to set himself on fire, if he refuses, maybe this group of people who have problems in their hearts will directly hate him. After more than 10 years, who can withstand the trouble of coming to him again? So, let Tony go for a headache, anyway, he is very high profile and not afraid of trouble. But this matter is also wrong with Tony, this kind of happy moment, after playing Maya Hansen, but left Killian to dry for the night, not remembering to hate him. Kei Chen took Maya Hansen to find Tony, and then left directly. As for how things will develop, what does it have to do with him? However, he can also confirm that Tony does not call Maya Hansen. If Tony likes it, he will directly invite the knight to stay and fight. Tony Stark sees Maya Hansen full of smiles, and Maya, shows, him the desperate virus. Mr. Ketchin, long time no see. Just after K. Chen returned to the party, a grumbling voice sounded. He turned his head and saw Pepper in a red evening dress. Pepper tied her hair and looked full of sorrow. It had been almost two years since she last saw K. Chen. This made Pepper doubt her charm. In the past two years, Pepper turned into a workaholic and was reused in Stark Group, after all, the support of the two major shareholders. She herself is more beautiful, like a delicate flower. At this time, Pepper has reached her most beautiful age, and after a while, her beauty may decline. No way, the shelf life of white women is too short. Just like the hairy bear people have a popular saying, after marriage, you immediately become an aunt. When Kei Chen saw the little Pepper at the peak of his state, he immediately felt that the freckles on her face were beautiful. Long time no see, Pepper. He directly took Pepper's hand, which attracted the attention of many people. This is Pepper Pepper, who will be held by a man. And she hasn't refused yet. What a miracle. Do you know how much I've missed you in the past two years? Kei Chen asked preemptively. Pepper, was speechless. Think I haven't been looking for it for two years. I've had something delayed and I haven't been able to come to Stark Group. Kei Chen explained. Due to his handsome appearance, Pepper quickly forgave him. Who called Kei Chen young and golden? Why does it feel like you've never changed? Pepper asked curiously. In two years she became ripe, like a peach. But nothing changed in Kei Chen. This was the effect of the fountain of eternal life, which made Kei Chen directly freeze. Because of racial talent, Kei Chen naturally wouldn't tell the truth. Anyway, he is oriental, it is normal to look young, right? Then he immediately invited Pepper to dance with him. Little Pepper naturally agreed, and the two were immediately entangled and unwilling to separate. Follow me. After the song, Pepper immediately pulled Kei Chen and left. Went straight to the elevator and looked like I was going to get down to business. But when I got to the place, I found that it was a hidden lounge. This is where I take my lunch break, no one else will come. Pepper said with a red face. Kei Chen smiled slightly, and everything was silent. After all, there is a poem that is well written. The flowers can be folded straight and must be folded, and there is no need to fold branches without flowers. Little Pepper is indeed jerky, as a workaholic, he has no experience, and was immediately defeated by Kei Chen. After all, his skills have reached their peak, and even the Kardashian family, the best defensive player, may not be able to please him in front of him. When Kei Chen came out of the lounge, the party was still lively, because it had not yet reached its peak. It's just that he has too good physical strength and doesn't need to rest much. Pepper can't do it, the first game is lost, you have to recuperate. Kei Chen returned to the party and felt a little bored. But he is still ready to wait until the new century enters and then returns. 
Because this moment is very commemorative, countless people huddled together, waiting for this moment to come. Time also becomes slow in this moment. As people shouted in unison, the countdown counted down to 10 seconds. The new century has arrived. Boom. The whole of New York seems to be a city of fireworks, no matter where you are, you can see extremely brilliant fireworks. People greeted the new century in this way, and everyone fell into ecstasy. The city that never sleeps seems to have really entered a new era. K. Chen seemed very happy in this situation. This kind of thing will not be the only one for him, but every time he crosses the century, he has to wait a long time. After all, only once in a hundred years. In this case, K. Chen saw two identical faces. The same faces. K. Chen immediately looked over with interest, and it was not difficult for him to find two identical people in the crowd. Chapter 31 K. Chen curiously used telepathy. For things he doesn't understand, he doesn't mind using his abilities. After all, even Professor X couldn't avoid his curiosity. Telepathy is spiritual power, and spiritual power can involve the soul, which is a very powerful force. It is impossible for K. Chen not to use his powerful power. So he soon discovered that the two were indeed not twins, and one of them was an alien. The alien became the woman. That woman is an agent with a good status, and the agent is naturally relaxed when he comes here, and by the way, see if Tony, the rich man, has moved. These are normal things. After all, the agent also wants to play, and later, when an FBI agent was dancing in a bar, he played a flip pistol and fell to the ground. He hurriedly picked up the pistol, which caused a misfire and hit a dancing man in the thigh, but fortunately there was no big problem. If in Chicago, the agent had been clicked by a typewriter. This female agent did not expect that she was targeted by aliens, and she wanted to kill her to extinguish her. Since he saw it, K. Chen naturally wouldn't let the aliens succeed. When Captain Marvel Carol came, he was the guardian of Planet C-53. The female agent naturally sensed that someone was following her. She deliberately stopped and looked back, but saw a person who looked exactly like herself. This shocked her, and the next second her neck was choked. Who are you? She asked with difficulty. I am you. Myself, who pinched her neck said. This group of aliens must kill the original owner in order to completely become their appearance. Otherwise, it can be found that she just looks alike, but her body is different. Soon, she began to absorb the energy of the female agent who was grabbed by the neck. The female agent fainted instantly. At this time, a voice came from behind her. You're not a screw. K. Chen looked at her back and asked. And controlled her to put down the female detective's body and walked towards her. As long as it has a soul, K. Chen's telepathic ability can come in handy. Psychic abilities. What did you do? She was naturally shocked. Name your identity. K. Chen was too lazy to look at her heart, although it was very simple. I'm a Dabal, and we didn't come to your planet on purpose. She struggled to explain. Although the Dabals have the ability to travel between stars, they are not strong in the universe. Naturally, it is impossible to compare with the Skuru people. The Skuru Empire is one of the three major empires in the universe, and its strength is extremely strong. Although the ability of the Dabals is somewhat similar to that of the Skurus, it is very flawed to kill people to become incarnated. Is it because of the power of the Phoenix? When K. Chen heard her race, he knew why he came. Yes, we don't want to leave our homeland either, but the power of the phoenix has destroyed our planet. The Dabal people in front of them thought they were saved. As long as we get the power of the phoenix, we will leave the earth immediately. You should also know how dangerous the power of the phoenix is, it will destroy your planet in an instant. Yes, K. Chen nodded when he heard this. But he's not worried. If the power of the phoenix really destroys the planet, even in the future, then the ancient one should appear. Furuchi, who has the time gem, can see what happens in any timeline in the future. If she didn't appear, it meant that the power of the phoenix was not so manic. The power of the phoenix found its host and became much more docile. The reason for destroying the planet of the Dabals can only be said that they themselves are unlucky. For aliens, K. Chen did not have the slightest trust. The old saying is not of my race, and its heart will be different. Not to mention people who are not a planet anymore. Where are your people? K. Chen asked. What are you going to do? The Dabal people wondered. 
we can work together. Hearing Kei Chen's words, the Dabal people in front of them immediately spoke out about their seclusion. This group of aliens naturally did not dare to be arrogant on Earth. Although the Earth seems to be not very technologically advanced, it is not a problem to destroy this group of them. Thank you. Kei Chen listened to the location and said with a smile. No thanks, we can cooperate well, the Dabal was not aware of the danger until she saw Kei Chen's eyes turn scarlet. Ah! She screamed, and then her body disappeared like dust. The Dabals are so peculiar that their bodies are as dreamy as a patchwork. Kei Chen's hot vision could vaporize them in an instant. Even if she is an alien, you are too cruel. At this moment, a big blonde cousin hugged her body behind Kei Chen and said. She also noticed the abnormality here at the first time, but before she could make a move, Kei Chen had already made a move. Kei Chen was not surprised by her presence. My name is Kei Chen. He walked over and held out a hand. Raven, the other party also extended a hand. It is the famous witch Ruiwen. She thought that Kei Chen was also a mutant. Why are you here? Kei Chen asked curiously, obviously knowing her identity. Ruiwen simply said, Come out to scatter your mind, and you ended up in this situation. Quote. Oh, Kei Chen let go of her hand, and there was no place to cross the line. The main thing is the age of the witch. Although she looks young, this is due to her mutant ability. In fact, she is not much younger than Professor X, Professor X is an old man, she can still rely on the ability to stay young, and will not be old, which makes Professor X a little envious. Moreover, the witch Ruiwen already has a child, and it is rumored that the child with the red devil is the blue devil, and he inherits the blue skin of the witch and the teleportation ability of the red devil, so Kei Chen does not feel anything. He didn't think age had anything, but he really didn't think the witch was suitable. Maybe it's because Raven is too wavy. Smoke, Ruiwen looked at Kei Chen and asked. Seeing Kei Chen's refusal, she took care of herself and lit one. In fact, she has always had conflicts with Professor X. Although Ruiwen in this world did not betray Professor X, she still had some different concepts from Professor X. And it gets stronger over time. A conflict broke out before. The death of the Phoenix girl scared Ruiwen, and although it turned out to be suspended animation, she couldn't stand it. In order to integrate into humans, Professor X always puts mutants in danger, and Ruiwen, as a party, is of course unhappy. Kei Chen listened to her complaining, and did not say that the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. He just said, do you want to come with me to solve these aliens? Relax. Quote. Ha, huh, can you still relax like this? Quote. Without any hesitation, Raven agreed, and did not tell the Mutant Academy. It's just that before setting off, she transformed herself into the appearance of a female agent. Maybe you can fool those aliens. Raven said. I don't think it's useful. Kei Chen said and took her directly to the car. Although the Dabals are not as strong as the Skuris, they certainly have the ability to tell if they are their own people. Maybe there is something that only they know about smells and other ways to identify them. Otherwise, once this ability fails, it is easy for the enemy to penetrate inside. But I also have to say that the ability of the witch is very powerful, just like the witch. She can become anyone she wants, and after becoming the other party, there is the other party's voice, fingerprints, etc., and even the walking posture is exactly the same. This is definitely not something that Cuz can do. If there is a witch, there is no need for other women, she can play casually. Kei Chen thought like this, stepped on the accelerator and accelerated. They have to go early, otherwise it's not fun if it's late, these aliens have run away. The Dodge Challenger had never been driven so fast by him. Galloping all the way, I feel like the accelerator is going to be stepped on. Fortunately, no one was fishing for law enforcement on this day, otherwise they would definitely be chased. I need a self-driving car. Kei Chen said that it was naturally an Autobot-like bumblebee. But the witch didn't understand, and after a lot of battles, she thought that Kei Chen was hinting at herself. When we come back alive, I will reward you. The appearance of her transformation into a female agent gave Kei Chen a wink. Quote, comma, quote, Isn't it wrong? Although he has the ability to drive a Ferrari with one hand, there is still this dream. But there is no Ferrari. Taking advantage of the darkness, they soon arrived at the gathering place of the Dabal. 
This is a jungle where people met before, and they were all killed by the Dabal. Within the scope of the universe, the people of the whole earth are naturally the same enemy, and Kei Chen is also cold. He and the witch Ruiwen got out of the car, and immediately a group of people surrounded them. Ruiwen glanced at Kei Chen and got a look in her eyes, these are aliens. I'm back, the female detective that Raven turned into said loudly. You are not our leader, who are you? However, this trick failed. The Dabal people quickly discerned. Unless Raven directly becomes their appearance, they will be distinguished. Ruiwen looked at Kei Chen regretfully, and then Kei Chen directly struck. Then you will all die. Kei Chen's eyes erupted with intense heat vision. Zig, a red laser appeared, directly cutting all the woods in front of him in half, not to mention the Dabalis hiding inside. Ruiwen, who saw this scene, was stunned. It was as if she had seen another laser eye. But what she didn't know was that thermal vision was not comparable to laser eyes. A laser eye is a red beam of impact from both eyes, which is derived from surrounding energy such as solar radiation, photons, and cosmic rays. Even in the comic book setting, the power of the laser eye can only destroy asteroids. Not to mention compared to Superman's hot vision. The hot sight of the people of the motherland, he is not comparable. Now Kei Chen, the hot line of sight with full firepower is more than 6,000 degrees high, and the time ratio is more than 100 times, that is, the enemy is shot for a second is equivalent to being irradiated for more than 100 seconds. Therefore, no enemy can survive under Kei Chen's hot sight. And he can control the amount of energy and temperature at will. If he could, he would also like to compare with laser eye to see who is more capable. Let's go. Kei Chen looked at the witch and said, he had confirmed that no one had survived. Oh, the witch said sluggishly, why can your laser eyes be controlled freely? She couldn't help but ask. I'm not laser eye, I'm called hot eye. Kei Chen said helplessly, God TM laser eye. The name is hard to hear. You're not a mutant. Hearing such a title, Ruiwen asked in surprise. I never said I was a mutant. Kei Chen smiled, quote comma comma quote. The witch raven said she didn't understand. How can a mutant be so strong? Mutants don't know yet that a new era is coming. Not to mention the after, even now is not the time of mutants. If they really swell like Magneto to control the world, they will definitely pay the price. Mine is home, Kei Chen said. The witch raised an eyebrow. But before she could speak, Kei Chen added, I don't mean anything else, my woman is waiting for me at home. After. Taking a deep look at him, Ruiwen snorted coldly and got into the car. Kei Chen didn't lie, he hadn't told Carter and Lorna about his late return. If it is late to go back, the two women will be angry. Meanwhile, the Academy of Mutants. Jean Grey watched as everyone was holding a bonfire. The new century seemed particularly noisy to her, and she was not a person who loved to be lively. This party was to celebrate victory and usher in the new century. But she has always been withdrawn, so she is not with everyone, just sitting silently on the side. From the moment she entered the mutant academy, she had no friends, and even other companions who were also mutants, treated her as a freak. After all, she dreams that there will be an earthquake, in the entire academy, who is not afraid of her abilities. No one's mutant ability can be compared to Jean. But she also found herself changing. She became more wanted and impulsive about things she didn't care about before. For example, wine, Jean did not drink before, but this party she drank a lot, and poured a glass into her mouth, as if the body was not hers. Suddenly, as the time came, it was 12 o'clock in the morning. The world has become more noisy. The shouting crowd, the ubiquitous fireworks, and the vigorous sound drilled directly into her mind. In this endless sound, Jean suddenly held her head in pain. Boom, the wine glass filled with red wine was directly smashed on the ground and broken, which seemed to break the last barrier of the piano. Ah, Jean screamed loudly, a powerful shock wave was launched from her body, and a fiery red phoenix shadow could be faintly seen. This powerful shock wave flattened the mound in front of it, shattering all the surrounding trees and knocking all the mutants away. Fortunately, after doing all this, Chin's whole person also fainted. But this shocked all the mutants, who all felt Jean Grey was out of control. No one knows how terrifying it is that she is out of control, but she tore through the world's most powerful mutant apocalypse with her hands. 
Professor X, who attended the state banquet, immediately rushed back to the mutant academy. But he had a faint premonition in his heart that something bad would happen. He ignored the voices calling Jean a freak and went straight into the lab. He uses the consciousness machine to enter Jean's mind. At this time, Jean is unconscious, but her consciousness is very active, even chaotic. There was an extremely powerful force in Chin's body, just like the power he sensed in Chin's body back then. The fiery red phoenix appeared in her body from time to time, still impacting the firewall of consciousness in her mind. This was made by Professor X with his own psychic ability in order to prevent Jean from accepting those bad memories. It did work before, and he sealed these bad memories. But now, with the power of the phoenix that appeared out of nowhere, this protective wall was directly broken. Get out. At the same time, the sleeping Jean wakes up. The grieving Jean knew what had happened over the years. It turned out that her father did not die in that car accident. Only his father, who was deeply shocked by his daughter's superpowers, abandoned her and entrusted her to Professor X. Originally, this was nothing, but after so much time, coupled with the great change of Jean's temperament, she suddenly had endless anger. That scum. When Jean discovered the truth, she was naturally extremely angry. Sometimes the truth is not so terrible, the scary thing is that you have been deceived. That's how the waking piano feels. I have been living in deception, and it is strange that my mind can be normal. Especially when her situation at this time was not right in the first place. The self-blame for killing his mother, the anger at his father's abandonment, and Professor X's constant deception. Coupled with the huge phoenix power, it has been interfering with her. Because she can't completely control the power of the phoenix, so that the power of the phoenix often gets out of control. This made Jean's eyes turn red when she opened them. The figure of the phoenix flashed in his eyes. In an instant, she disappeared into the mutant academy. Not good. Professor X, who woke up, trembled. A real monster appeared. The latest mutant law, Mutant Jean Grey, also known as the Phoenix Woman, she went on a killing spree in New York, not only killing civilians, but also rebelling against the army, and in view of this kind of thing, people think deeply about mutants. A few days later, K. Chen saw the news at home. Captain Carter frowned, she faintly wanted to stop it, but she was stopped by K. Chen in advance. She herself knew that even as a super soldier, she was definitely not an opponent, so she gave up. Paige is not stupid, although she is righteous in her heart, she will not send her to death. And the movement made by the piano was very large, and there were actually not many casualties. It's just that the news is exaggerated. Jean is a kind girl, even if it is blackened at this time, but it is the army that moves first, and then she begins to fight back. Lorna was a little unhappy. Why should all of us mutants be responsible for what she does alone? Lorna questioned, but no one will answer her. The reason is that humans are too afraid of mutants. People who do not have the ability to mutate are afraid of mutants, even envious, jealous, and do not have a good mood, and naturally want to destroy mutants. This is an irreconcilable contradiction. K. Chen watched the TV and knew that the Phoenix girl had turned into a black phoenix. Other than that, he didn't have any ideas. I just don't know, who can solve the Dark Phoenix when the Dabal people are solved by him. The so-called Black Phoenix means that the piano is under the control of the power of the Phoenix. The dominant person is no longer herself, and there is a change from the identity of the host. The reason why this is the case is that the person behind the pot is Professor X. Jean himself has a bit of a problem. She never dared to truly accept the power of the Phoenix. The Manic Phoenix naturally took over her body directly. This matter is obviously not so easy to end. The runaway Dark Phoenix doesn't care too much, and soon a mutant dies at her hands. The news reported this, not only no one sympathized, but countless people gloated. Many people hyped the dangers of mutants and wanted to completely solve them. It seems that without mutants, the world will become peaceful. Under such circumstances, it also made Lorna even more afraid to show her mutant ability outside. Fortunately, she has been able to control her abilities perfectly. The reason why mutants are hated is because many people can't control their mutant abilities so that they directly lose control outside. Losing control of supernatural energy is a very dangerous thing, and many people are injured to varying degrees every time. Plus a lot of people who have ambitions with mutant abilities. 
so the reputation of the mutant became shouted and fought by everyone. What made Jean feel embarrassed was that she killed the X-Men's people, and she naturally couldn't go back to the Mutant Academy. Because she couldn't control herself. Sometimes she can feel what she has done, but she just can't control her violence, and her emotions can easily become agitated. Not long ago, she went to Magneto. As a result, she went on a killing spree. Magneto's Brotherhood of Mutants is also reluctant to take her in. The heavens and the earth are so big, Chin has a homeless feeling at this moment. And many times she will lose control, and she will not dare to go to people she knows. It was at this time that she met a woman. The other party was wearing a black gauze skirt, which looked very strange. The woman, who calls herself the Black Queen, invites her to join the Hellfire Club. But Jean could tell at a glance that she had other ideas. Decisively refused. The Black Emperor was not her opponent, and Jean easily defeated the other party. But this time did not hurt the killer, but chose to leave directly. She wants to find a way to control the power of the Phoenix. She doesn't want to be a puppet of the Phoenix Force anymore. So, the aimless piano wandered around the world. But what disappointed her was that there were few people in this world who had heard of the power of the Phoenix, and Professor X didn't know what it was, only knew that it was powerful energy. How could Jean find a way to control it? On this day, Jean stood desperately on a cliff, surrounded by green space, looking like a fairyland on Earth. Ah! The uncontrolled phoenix power in her body surged everywhere, and a dimensional space faintly appeared in front of her, and a woman who looked like a madman inside looked out in shock, but soon the space disappeared again. And in Chin's ears, a discussion about the power of the phoenix suddenly sounded. This year's April Fool's Day, everyone didn't have the heart to make it very grand. After all, Lorna was very depressed, as a mutant, she was affected by the pond fish, and she did not dare to appear outside at all. Although she didn't dare to show her abilities outside before, the atmosphere between humans would not be so weird. Now many people are demonstrating under various slogans and want to exterminate mutants. Is this the new century that people are looking forward to? A new century without mutants? In this case, K. Chen teased Lorna, just barely making her laugh, and there was no way. He also thought about how to completely solve the plight of mutants. There is a little bit of an idea, but it's hard to do. As long as the fire doesn't burn Lorna, he doesn't care. We have to solve the problem. After the meal, Captain Carter's righteous heart exploded. She couldn't beat the Phoenix girl, and she had a lot in her heart, so she didn't provoke. But seeing that Lorna was unhappy and got along for so long, she was also a little uncomfortable in her heart. After all, Paige already treats Lorna as a sister. Although she is an old antique from the time of World War II, but excluding the time of being frozen, he is only in his twenties. In terms of mental maturity and the like, she is also Lorna's sister. Taking advantage of the time for Lorna to wash the dishes, she blocked Kei Chen. How to solve it? Kei Chen looked at Paige, who was seriously and contemplative. At this time, Paige became more and more comfortable in her skirt. As for her own uniform, she hadn't worn it for a long time. The shield was often used, and she was always trained to keep her in shape. Do you know the mustache from World War II? Paige has experience with this. Of course, is there something to learn from? K. Chen pulled Paige upstairs while discussing in a low voice. Naturally, he came to his master bedroom. Discussing mustache in Europe and the United States is very risky, and most people hate him very much and think that he is the devil. It would be even worse if he worshipped. Unlike Napoleon, who at least in France, everyone worships him. No one in Germany dared to speak of him. At this time, K. Chen and Page not only talked about mustache, but also borrowed, naturally there was no place to discuss. Just like that, Page was cornered into the room. The solution to the contradiction with the mustache is to create a new contradiction. Page said seriously, isn't this the way to live a small day? K. Chen also wanted to laugh when he heard this, but it was true. The group of guys who lived well in small life, World War II was like this, and the solution to the current contradiction is to create a new contradiction. Crazy gambling on national fortune. Mutants can also solve it this way. Page said seriously, as long as we have a common enemy and humanity has to need mutants to protect them, no one will say any more. Hearing Page's words, K. Chen nodded seriously. 
The problem is that there are no such enemies. Paige then spread her hands and said, Yes. K. Chen smiled and said, Aliens. Quote. Ha. Huh. Paige was a little shocked when she heard this. Are there really aliens? This old antique is a little unacceptable. Last time, K. Chen came back late and did not tell her what he was going to do. I'm afraid Paige won't be able to accept it. There are even mutants, why can't there be aliens? K. Chen said with a smile. Maybe there are many aliens on Earth, but we can't find it. Quote. Say nothing else, just the scurrus. As long as they become like other humans, they can't be found at all. Only those closest to you can slightly doubt that something is wrong. Then the two discussed again, talking about the nature of the universe and the Earth is not safe. The sky outside the window soon darkened. I'll go take a shower. K. Chen looked at the sky and said. The annual check-in was about to happen, and he didn't want to rush it. Even he didn't know if it was useful. Paige immediately stood up in a hurry, I'm going to rest. Then, she showed the agility of a super soldier and immediately disappeared. Just like a white rabbit, it is very eye-catching, but it is also very fast. Apparently, she wasn't ready. K. Chen, who had some regrets, immediately bathed in incense and quickly left the conservative page behind. I thought reverently about what this check-in would bring. Although the frequency of check-ins is very low, there are huge gains every time, and K. Chen no longer complains about anything. If he didn't sign in, he still had nothing. Be content. Soon, the auspicious time came. K. Chen immediately chose to sign in. Congratulations to the host for successfully surviving for seven years, hiding his strength, and getting a check in reward, God Level Dip Card. God Level Dip Card. The host can choose an ability or skill of any object to use the dip card, which cannot go beyond this range, and the host will also have the ability to stain after the use of the dip card. A fluorescent card appeared on K. Chen's hand. He took a closer look at the requirements, and although he could only stain abilities or skills, he was strong enough. This kind of good thing, of course, is to be used by powerful people. For K. Chen, whether he is strong or not is a temporary thing, and whether he is handsome or not is a matter of a lifetime. Therefore, he decided, not only strong, but also handsome. Having both is certainly the best. After a while, K. Chen immediately called Lorna, who went upstairs, to come in. Depressed, Lorna directly pounced over. Recently, she has been in a very bad mood and needs to relax in time, otherwise it is not good for her body. After dispelling his depression, K. Chen hugged Lorna and tried it. Does the host use God-level dip cards? Magnetic field control can be obtained from Polaris Lorna. Seeing that he could indeed stain the ability of mutants, K. Chen also smiled. However, he did not choose to use it. Lorna's ability is enough for her own. Although it seems that the scene is big enough, it is still a little handsome enough in K. Chen's opinion. He already had an idea in his mind. For K. Chen, it didn't matter what to improve his strength. Because there are still more than 10 years before the arrival of Thanos, if he signs in more than 10 times, no one knows to what extent. For K. Chen, the most powerful thing about him is that he has never worried that he will be weak. Anyway, it's just eating, drinking, and having fun, and then signing in once a year will become stable and stronger. How many people do not envy it? Even if a mutant encounters an open hang like him, he will be envious to death. Just like Lorna, every time she asked how strong K. Chen's strength was. Since the last time she saw K. Chen's strength, she had been obsessed. Then, K. Chen would raise two fingers. Tell her. Billion points. Not long after April Fool's Day. Due to the recovery of all things, K. Chen's yard was overgrown with weeds, and the three of them naturally weeded together in the yard. Americans like to buy yards because of lawns. They can keep the yard in good order, but they can't grow vegetables or anything. This is a serious violation of the law. A green lawn is very comfortable to look at, so in the United States, there are many trimmers who help those who do not want to take care of the lawn themselves. K. Chen, they had nothing to do, so they did it themselves. Paige and Lorna are not very used to it, but K. Chen has always done it himself. Therefore, the two followed K. Chen to learn. Although Lorna has been learning for a long time, she wants to solve it with her mutant ability every time. But this year is different, 
the situation is so tense, even in her own yard, she is not afraid to use the ability. After an afternoon of grass cutting, Paige didn't even sweat, and Lorna couldn't stand going back. She only likes to look at these flowers and plants, and does not like to take care of them herself. At this moment, there was a sudden noise in the sky. It's like the sound of flight. K. Chen was chatting with Paige, when he heard a voice and looked up directly. I saw that the sky was fiery red, and a woman wearing red clothes and a phantom of a phoenix faintly behind her landed in the courtyard. Jean, although Kei Chen saw the phoenix girl for the first time, her appearance like this already indicated her identity. Paige also recovered Captain Carter's state and immediately became on alert. Because the phoenix girl in front of her looks a little bad. From time to time, magma-like spots flashed under her skin, and then quickly disappeared. Obviously, even now, she is still fighting against the power of the phoenix. Her character is tougher than expected. You know me. Jean leaned her neck and then said with a little pain. Yes, we all know you, my name is Kei Chen. Kei Chen introduced. This is Paige. He took Paige's hand and signaled for Paige not to act rashly. He also didn't want to say which was stronger than Dark Phoenix or Scarlet Witch. Because the power of the Phoenix and the magic of chaos are the three most powerful ancient forces in the universe. The last one is the power of the goblins, which also existed at the beginning of the universe. It seems that the chaos magic comes from the god of the underworld, Sithorn, and is not as powerful as the power of the phoenix born from the beginning of the universe, but both of them perform similarly. The Scarlet Witch can make the mutant disappear with a word, and the phoenix lady can also make the mutant reappear with a word. In short, both of these are weapons of the law of cause and effect. It's hard to say which is stronger or weaker, but the gap is certainly not large. In the 838 world, Captain Carter later seemed to have made two moves with the Scarlet Witch, but his death was extremely miserable, and he was directly cut off by his own shield. Moreover, the Wanda of that world is still controlled by the Wanda of this world, using the influence of the Dark God book. The strength is not the peak at all, and it can only barely play a few percent. Obviously, for super soldiers, it is a compliment to compare with the gods with mortal power, but in fact there is no such ability at all. If Captain Carter makes a move against the Dark Phoenix, I'm afraid the end will not be much better. Kei Chen could only quickly stop her hostility. Did you come to us for something? When Kei Chen saw Chin in such pain, he also said immediately. He was very afraid that Chin Yi could not control it, and the power of the Phoenix would burst out and destroy this yard. After all, this is his home. I need you to help me. Chin said with a flash of hope in her eyes. How can I help you? K. Chen asked, and then let Paige stop Lorna. Lorna came out of the house at this time, and she felt the energy fluctuations outside. She is the most hostile to Jean Grey, believing that the other party has affected the entire mutant. If Paige doesn't stop it, Lorna will probably have to do it directly. But obviously, Lorna will not be Jean's opponent. You mentioned the power of the Phoenix, you understand it, I saw it in time. A trace of pain flashed across Jean's face, and then he immediately asked. A cloud of fiery red energy suddenly burst out of her body, and then she immediately took it back. Even Paige and Lorna could sense that something was wrong with her. Lorna felt this powerful force, and suddenly did not dare to act rashly. It turns out that she has been tormented by such a force all the time. Do you know how to control it? Chin walked up to Kei Chen and asked. A spiritual power surged directly towards Kei Chen, but it was resisted by him. Both have powerful telepathy. This made Kei Chen dare not imagine how bad it would be in a world full of mutants without this ability. Jean's own mutant ability is telepathy, and the power of the phoenix is foreign, which greatly enhances her strength. I don't know. Kei Chen shook his head and said. He tried it with a fluorescent card in his hand. It's a pity. Does the host use god-level dip cards? Telepathic abilities can be obtained from the Phoenix Girl Grey, the host itself already exists, and it is not recommended to use it. The power of the Phoenix is the primordial power of the universe, which does not belong to the scope of abilities and skills, and cannot be touched. The power of the Phoenix cannot be touched. Of course, looking at Chin's painful appearance, even if he has the power of the Phoenix, he may not be able to control it. The power of the phoenix is too powerful, and humans are too small for it. Help me, 
Chin directly grabbed Kei Chen, and then a trace of pain flashed on her face. Please. Jean felt like her body was about to be decomposed, and the pain was unspeakable. Fortunately, the power of the phoenix needs her body and soul as a host, otherwise she would have turned into a fiery phoenix at this time. Kei Chen looked at the piano that was about to lose control, and he was frantically thinking of a way in his mind. He didn't expect that Jean would find him directly and ask him to help. But the problem is that how to master the power of the phoenix is simply an unsolved mystery. As if she was impatient, Jean also lost control of the power of the phoenix for a short time, and her expression gradually became cold. If it becomes completely cold, it is that the black phoenix controls the body. This was extremely bad for Kei Chen. I have a way. He immediately looked at Jean and said. Sure enough, Chin's indifferent face suddenly had a hint of struggle. Even without using telepathic abilities to enter her mind, Kei Chen could feel what her condition was like. In her mind, in addition to herself, there was also the power of the phoenix that had been influencing her, and even competing with her for control. Once she gets tired, or falls into the downwind, there will be the power of the phoenix to dominate. That was what Kei Chen didn't want to see. Therefore, after seeing Chin's brief recovery, he immediately said, I know someone who can help you. Quote, I know someone can help you. When Kei Chen said this, Chin once again gained the upper hand. She is like she has two personalities, one is herself and the other is Dark Phoenix. Not only did she show a look of surprise, but Paige and Lorna, who had been on guard, were also surprised. Paige even changed into her own battle uniform just in case of accidents, with the vibranium shield behind her. They have already felt that if they fight, they are definitely not Jean's opponents. Look at now, the entire sky has been turned a fiery red color by the influence of the power of the phoenix. In the distance, many people came out of the house and photographed the sky, not noticing the situation on this side for the time being. With this kind of mighty power, they are certainly not Chin's opponents. Lorna, in particular, looked serious and hated herself for being too weak. Don't say it's her, even Magneto will only be torn by the piano player. Who? Jean immediately asked, behind you, Kei Chen suddenly calmed down. Because a golden portal suddenly appeared behind Jean, a man wearing a mage's cloak stepped in from inside. Actually, you don't have to say so much. The mage lifted her hood back, revealing her reflective bald head, and then said to Kei Chen. Ji Yu Yi didn't expect that this guy Kei Chen would sell himself directly. This made her think of a sentence, dead Taoist friends are not dead and poor. Who is she? For the sudden appearance of Ji Yu Yi, Jean Grey seemed very defensive. In her heart, she still trusted Kei Chen more, and she didn't know why. She's the Supreme Mage, Koichi. Kei Chen said, The Supreme Mage has always protected the Earth from the Dimensional Demon God, and his strength is very strong, which will definitely help you control the power of the Phoenix. In front of Ji Yu Yi, Kei Chen did not stop bragging. Anyway, the words have already been released. Whether you can do it or not depends on Ji Yu Yi's. Moreover, magic and phoenix power must have something in common. No matter what kind of magic or power, to put it bluntly, it is a kind of cosmic energy. Ji Yu Yi looked at Kei Chen deeply when she heard this, and she began to wonder if her choice was right. This is truly an unimagined path. Relying on magic, can Jin really control the power of the phoenix? For Kei Chen, Ji Yu Yi is very complicated. Of course, she noticed Kei Chen, but she didn't care. But when she cared, she found that she couldn't see Kei Chen's influence in the long river of time. He is like jumping out of the five elements, the only existence in countless multiverses. By this time, Furuchi found out that it was too late. Fortunately, Kei Chen didn't do anything, and then arched her out. I can help you try. Thinking about it, Furuchi said. She was actually curious about whether this could be successful. Since this was Kei Chen's interference, she had never seen this scene in the River of Time before, so she was not sure. But if she doesn't show up, Jean can also find Karma Taj. The power of the Phoenix is too powerful. Much stronger than the power she borrowed from the Dimensional Demon God. The magic of the Marvel Universe has all kinds of drawbacks. The fundamental reason is that these magics are not the power of the mages themselves, but the power they, borrowed, from the dimensional demon gods. 
it is precisely because of borrowing power everywhere that they have all kinds of negative effects. If you borrow something, you also have to pay it back. Mages often give a lot because of their strength, Dr. Strange is typical, he lost his sense of taste, did not dare to sleep and fell asleep, and his eyebrows had an extra eye. That's the price of magic. Compared to Dr. Strange, Ji Yuyi's way is much smarter. She borrowed power from a demon god, and when she didn't want to pay it back, she borrowed the power of a stronger demon god to kill the previous demon god, and she didn't have to pay it back. Of course, this also caused her to owe too much. To put it bluntly, Ji Yuyi is the kind of Lao Lai, who borrows strength and never pays the price. Supreme Mage Jean closed her eyes when she heard this. The power of the phoenix was very powerful, and it soon made her know what a supreme mage was. Thank you, she said sincerely to Kei Chen. This means that she has received a helping hand from the supreme mage. This made Kei Chen breathe a sigh of relief. Otherwise, he really doesn't know what to do. Fortunately, an ancient mage came out to take over. Ji Yuyi's eyes were not so good when he looked at him, and the faint smile on his face was about to disappear, especially when he saw the fluorescent card in Kei Chen's hand. Taking advantage of this time, Kei Chen directly used the god-level dipping card on her. When he saw Ji Yuyi, Kei Chen had an idea. The strength of the Supreme Mage is not to say, but Shuai is really handsome. Although Ji Yuyi, like the legendary Gandalf, is a melee mage, her magic should not be underestimated. Kei Chen's favorite magic was obtained by him using the dip card. Does the host use the dip card on Supreme Mage Ji Yuyi? Her magic can be stained with the Ring of Ragadol, the Trip to Icon, the Wind of Wadam. Yes, the host obtained magic from Furuchi, Mirror Space. Mirror Space. The host does not need to pay a price for using this magic, as long as it consumes a little energy, anything caused in the mirror space cannot affect the real world, lift the mirror space, and everything will be restored. The mirror space is like his own home field, in the home field, he can do whatever he wants. Ji Yuyi watched the dip card in Kei Chen's hand disappear, and he didn't know what happened. Kei Chen caught her alone, I'm really embarrassed. Not only threw the dangerous bomb of Kodo to Ji Yuyi, but also stained her with magic skills, what a good person. Seeing Ji Yuyi's eyes, he immediately coughed and said, Master Ji Yuyi, thank you. After all, with great power comes great responsibility. Ji Yuyi softened a little. As a supreme mage, she was naturally embarrassed to be careful with Kei Chen. Come with me, kid, Furuchi said to Jean Grey. At her age, calling Jean a child is no problem at all. Chin also chose to believe her, glanced at Kei Chen, nodded at him in thanks, and then followed to Ji Yuyi's side. Ji Yuyi looked at everyone with a smile, and then stretched out his hand and drew a circle in front of him. A golden portal went out, and Furuchi left directly with the piano. Through the portal, Kei Chen and they could vaguely see that it was a mountain peak with many ancient buildings. Karma Taj, Ji Yuyi is really quite bold, in case the power of the phoenix directly erupts, Karma Taj will be gone. There are even mages on earth. It wasn't until both of them left that Paige on the side seemed to dare to breathe. She felt that she was too weak in front of the real strong. Kei Chen also turned his head to look at her, and Paige, who changed into a costume, was the real Captain Carter. Even this combat uniform can't hide her pride. It's really gifted. The world is more mysterious than you think, Paige. Kei Chen said to them, this is also to mention them. Especially Lorna, Kei Chen found that she was a little inflated. But at this time, seeing the powerful Phoenix girl, as well as the supreme mage who came and went without a trace, she also felt a lot of emotion in her heart. Mutants, mages, the world is crazy. Paige suddenly felt that she did not belong to this era, and although she often felt this way, it had never been so strong. Just like Captain Steve, who has been frozen for decades, will feel this way. This era is crazy. During World War II, Paige, Captain Carter, was the absolute protagonist. She alone can destroy a Hydra base, and she is as dazzling as a god in the Allies. But in this era, she found that super soldiers are nothing remarkable, whether mutants or mages, hanging her is like playing. This sense of gap makes Paige's heart very uncalm. Maybe I'm old. Therefore, Paige reluctantly said this sentence and went back to change her suit. No, 
The world needs anyone. K. Chen encouraged them, and it seemed that the blow to them was a bit big. With great power comes great responsibility. Because people who are not capable enough, forcibly do what they can't solve, what good results can there be? Ji Yuyi has gradually understood the situation in the piano body. She knew much more about energy than Professor X, and she immediately knew what was going on. The power of the phoenix in the body of the piano identified her as the host. But Jean has been resisting the power of the phoenix, which makes the situation worse and worse. In the case of the power of the phoenix taking the initiative, in fact, as long as she takes the initiative to accept it a little, she will become very strong. In fact, to put it bluntly, the girl in front of her is too fragile. Ji Yuyi believes that Jean Grey does not have the heart of a strong man, and this is the biggest problem. Therefore, she asked Jean to sit on the futon in front of her and said with a smile on her face, Can you feel the energy in your body? Chin immediately nodded when she heard this, and there was no pain on her face. Because the ancient mage had already helped her suppress the restless phoenix power in her body. When the power of the phoenix felt the miscellaneous power on Ji Yuyi's body, he was also a little silent. What is the situation of this supreme mage? All of his body is the power of the dimensional demon god. Good, all you have to do is meditate. Furuchi said with a smile. Meditation, Jean wondered. Yes, you have to imagine that it is a part of your body and completely treat it as your own ability, just like your mutant ability. Accept it, fuse it, and it won't cause you any more pain. Ji Yuyi said very calmly. This is easy to say, but it is actually difficult. Chin's own heart can't pass this level. As long as she thought of fusing the power of the phoenix, she would be afraid. She was so afraid of this force. Ji Yuyi saw the entanglement in her expression, and immediately shook his head secretly. Why doesn't she have this kind of good luck? If Ji Yuyi had the power of a phoenix, he would wake up laughing even in his dreams. Those dimensional demon gods, don't want her to pay the price anymore. Feeling the repulsion of the piano, the power of the phoenix was also a little irritable again. It is also emotional, the embodiment of life and emotion, and in Phoenix's view, Jean Grey is simply in the midst of bliss. Seeing this, Ji Yuyi directly slapped a palm on Chin's chest. Ah, the moment Jean's body leaned back, she felt that her soul was beaten out. What is the situation? Jean could clearly see her body and feel herself floating higher and higher, she was really out of her soul. You feel its power carefully, you are already one with it. Ji Yuyi looked at Chin and said lightly. In her eyes, at this time, Chin's soul was about to turn into a phoenix. Her body is red fruit, but there is a phoenix's fiery red wings behind her, and her hair and eyebrows are all phoenix flames, which looks like a fiery red elf. But Jean himself did not notice it, but kept repelling the power of the phoenix. Boom, the phoenix screamed around the piano. Jean finally saw the fiery red phoenix, and the phoenix's eyes did not have any emotion in it, but it had vigorous vitality. Then, the phoenix directly wrapped Chin's soul and flew into the sky with her. In an instant, Jean felt her soul break away from Karmataj and saw the beautiful snowy mountains. In the next instant, she came to the universe. The earth grew smaller and smaller in her eyes until it disappeared completely. Gradually, the universe was dark, without any sound, as if it were a dead silence. There was no light around, and she couldn't see any planets. The familiar earth was also not around her, as if it were empty. This is a primordial universe. Jean gradually sensed it. At this moment, her eyes became fiery red, and a huge phoenix phantom appeared in front of her, which illuminated the primordial universe, and with its birth, the primordial universe gradually became prosperous. Because it symbolizes life and emotion. It was born at the beginning of all things. It is a chaotic and immortal, eternal but impermanent being. It is a child of the universe. It was as if a phoenix as big as the universe flew in front of Jean's eyes, and under the eyes of the two, Chin finally stopped being afraid of it. Jean stretched out her hand as if she wanted to touch the phoenix. At this moment, her soul was pulled, and the whole person involuntarily flew down, and her soul seemed to be dizzy. When she opened her eyes, she suddenly saw the ancient mage who was calmly drinking tea. The other party's huge bald head seemed to radiate at this time. Do you feel it? Ji Yuyi asked lightly. I feel it. Jean opened her mouth and said, 
she no longer repelled the power of the phoenix. This is not some feared power, but countless people want to get it, but they can't get it. Such a good thing fell on himself, what else is there to dislike? Jean's mentality is slowly changing, but it can't be completely changed in a short period of time. Her environment from a young age shaped her current character. The so-called rivers and mountains are easy to change, and the nature is difficult to change. In Ji Yu Yi's opinion, it will take time. You should practice magic with the mages first. Furuchi said. Jean naturally will not refuse, she wants to completely integrate the power of the phoenix in Karmataj. At that moment, she will definitely be different. Furuchi also nodded with satisfaction, she even had a bold idea. What happens if Jean becomes a supreme mage? K. Chen didn't expect that just after sending away a time bomb, another group of uninvited guests came. Standing in the courtyard, he looked at the visitor with his hands folded. Their arrival did not cause any shock, because Professor X directly made the people around him ignore all this, which is also the use of psychic abilities. The previous Koichi did the same, but it was magic. But in K. Chen's view, whether it is magic or mutant ability, it is actually the embodiment of energy. It's just a different name. Some universes are called the Force, and some universes are called magic, but in the end, it is all the use of energy. The mutant ability is actually the same, but it has an upper limit. Professor Charles, it's not easy to see people directly using their abilities, right? K. Chen looked at Professor X and said directly. He sensed Professor X's spiritual power, so he directly blocked it. I was reckless. Professor X immediately apologized, and he looked kind. However, K. Chen is very wary of him, and he uses his psychic ability as soon as he appears, what kind of good person can he be? His means are certainly not as simple as they seem. You're here for the piano, aren't you? K. Chen looked at them and said. The formation is really not small. There were only Paige and Lorna behind him, but Professor X was surrounded by a group of people. The witch Ruiwen who had seen before directly threw a wink at him, as well as laser eyes wearing a pair of glasses, as well as Black Pearl Storm Girl, Beast Hank, etc. Where's Jean? Laser Eye immediately asked, looking very anxious. At this time, Chin had no intersection with him, just got closer. Because only Laser Eye is willing to be friends with Jean, Jean will naturally be close. He thinks he is Jean's friend and seems to be very concerned. She's gone. K. Chen did not look at him, but looked at Professor X and said. Where did you go? Professor X naturally knew that Jean had left, and he just wanted to know the whereabouts of Jean. Because Jean's departure this time is a bit strange, even if he uses the machine, he can't find where Chin went. It's like it disappeared out of thin air. It's not what you need to know, the being doesn't want me to tell too many people. K. Chen said with a smile, directly pulling Ji Yu Yi's tiger skin. What if we had to know? The X-Men looked a little angry. After all, Jean is their friend, and even more so, Professor X's student, and it is impossible to be sent away by his words. Sorry, that's not something you can know. K. Chen shook his head and said. If you talk nonsense about Karma Taj again, Ji Yu Yi may be angry. Obviously, the X-Men in front of them are not as angry as the Ancient Ones. Persimmons should be picked and pinched. It is said that Professor X is a complex person, and many people think that he is a good person who fights for the survival of mutants. But in K. Chen's opinion, his means were not enough. Of course, this is because his vision is limited, and Professor X is not a rotten good person. Just like now, he looked at K. Chen with a smile and said, if we defeat you, can we know the answer? Apparently, he was not willing to leave like that. Because Chen's problem was too big, he was afraid that it would cause greater risks, and he had to know the answer from K. Chen's mouth. Want to beat me? You can try. K. Chen said with disdain when he heard this. Professor X's psychic abilities have no effect on him and can also protect Paige and Lorna. Other people's abilities are not to mention, how can they compare with him? Okay first, I'll quit. Seeing this, the witch Ruiwen said directly. Among the X-Men, only she has seen K. Chen's strength which is much more terrifying than laser eyes, and she doesn't want to be taken into the vortex. The others had no objections, after all, she and Professor X were no longer compatible. Seeing this, K. Chen glanced at Paige and Lorna. Both women nodded to show their support for K. Chen. 
So Ke Chen directly clasped his hands together. The situation had come to this point, and he wanted to teach the X-Men a lesson. Let them know that the time of mutants has passed before it has arrived. Mutants may be very powerful against ordinary people, but the real strong ones have not yet appeared. With this thought, Kei Chen's palm turned golden. Mirror space. As his hands unfolded, the world seemed to turn between his hands, and the buildings next to him suddenly fell backwards like a twisted realm, the earth turned over like a dragon, the laser eye fell directly to the ground without standing firmly, and Professor X's wheelchair almost slipped to the side. In the eyes of everyone, the world seems to have become countless mirrors, and the world they see is not real and false. Everything in the mirror space is as bright as a mirror. Kei Chen was also using this magic for the first time, but it was handy. He was silent on the surface, but he also sighed in his heart. Handsome. At this moment, the X-Men and the others looked at him with completely different gazes. With horror in the eyes, with awe, with respect. Kei Chen suddenly felt that the ability of mirror space was not a loss at all when he used up the dipping card, where else could he find this handsome and strong ability? This kind of thing is not precious to Kei Chen at all, who knows if he will sign in in the future. Even if he can't get the sign in, he doesn't feel anything, because he never worries that he will not be strong enough. Do whatever you want, this is what Kei Chen thinks in his heart. Of course, he can keep it as a family heirloom, and then use it when he encounters those cosmic gods, but what is the point? Not only the X-Men, but even Paige and Lorna looked at Kei Chen in surprise. They felt like Kei Chen was a mystery. Whenever they thought they had seen through Kei Chen, there would always be a new fog that made them keep exploring. At this time, they will feel that Kei Chen is very strange and want to get to know each other again. Parallel Worlds Professor X steadied his inner horror and asked. No, this is mirror space, no matter what damage you do in mirror space, it will not affect the real world. Kei Chen said very calmly. Hearing his words, the laser eyes that became angry could no longer bear it. Everyone else stood steadily, and he fell to the ground, was he unstable? No, it's just that Kei Chen doesn't look at him well. Laser Eye, who figured out all this, directly took the lead. He has long seen that Kei Chen is not good, he looks so handsome, and there are two beautiful women following, unlike him who is a dick, even Jean Grey is not very willing to deal with him, so he can only grind hard bubbles. He immediately took off his glasses, and a jewel-like red light wave shot out towards Kei Chen. The energy of the laser eye is the shock wave, mainly the force of the impact, which can shatter things. It is rumored that the energy emitted from his eyes can penetrate a mountain. This power is already very good among mutants, otherwise they would not be a member of the X-Men. But in front of Kei Chen, it was completely inadequate. Facing the red light wave of the laser eye, Kei Chen did not move. The X-Men and others thought he couldn't react and were ready to rescue him. After all, everyone knows how strong the laser eye is. Only the witch Ruiwen was watching the play on the side, but she knew Kei Chen's ability. Every time they met, Kei Chen showed a little ability, which made her feel that Kei Chen was very mysterious. Sure enough, Kei Chen's eyes were also red, like lasers. Hot sight. The manic heat vision collided directly with the ability of the laser eye, and directly emitted a, sizzling, burning sound in the air. The ability of the laser eye was directly suppressed, and a fiery red boundary was extremely clear. Kei Chen's heat vision was obviously even greater than his energy. Boom! With the explosion emitted in the air, the laser eye was directly blown out. Fortunately, the X-Men looked at him and found that he was only injured, which was relieved. You don't want wheel wars, do you? Kei Chen looked at the other X-Men members who were about to move, and immediately said with disdain. But it is impossible for them to throw in the towel. Therefore, the Storm Girl Orlo directly controlled herself to fly and issued a battle letter against Paige and Lorna. I challenge the people around you. She looked at Lorna and Paige, not knowing who was fighting. Her ability is to manipulate the weather, a variant that their family has passed down for thousands of years. Storm Woman herself, as her nickname suggests, can manipulate lightning, create tornadoes, and rain down. Of course, this is after being strengthened by the apocalypse, and it cannot be released at full strength. Lorna and Paige both looked at Kei Chen, and Kei Chen nodded. He doesn't want to go all out, otherwise if he can't sign it in the future, it will be finished. 
After all, the requirement of the system is that he hides all his strength and lives in the Marvel world, but in fact, he is arrogant enough. Keep everything one hand, this is Kei Chen's style. Lorna immediately controlled herself and flew. She can also manipulate things in the mirror space, and the principle is the same. Let's shoot, Lorna said indifferently. Professor X looked at Lorna and suddenly felt a little strange. Lorna is also a mutant, and her abilities. Seeing Lorna controlling the magnetic field of steel and flying, Professor Charles suddenly said in a low voice, Eric. Just. Seeing Lorna's abilities, he thought of Magneto. However, he was not sure if Lorna was related to Eric Magneto. Unless Lorna can go to Magneto for a paternity test. The storm girl immediately controlled the lightning and slashed towards Lorna, and Lorna immediately blocked it with a piece of steel. Although this will cause electricity, it will not hit her at all. And under her control, Storm Girl directly lost control of her body and left it to Lorna. Magneto's ability is an Omega level mutant, and Lorna's ability is at least a fourth level mutant, if not inferior to Magneto. Seeing that Storm Girl Orlo was in trouble, the rest of the X Men here couldn't sit still. Beast Hank immediately transformed and rushed towards this side. Obviously, there was only one person beside Kei Chen. And after all, they want to face just a covenant battle, not a life and death enemy, so it is not good to have a wheel war against Kei Chen. But they were also unwilling to admit defeat just like that, and seeing that Storm Girl was also easily controlled by Lorna, he naturally couldn't wait. Always, don't win a single game, right? But who thought, he encountered hard stubble. The heroic Captain Carter couldn't wait for a long time, holding a vibranium shield in his hand, and also ran out. She couldn't wait to prove herself. In this day and age, she is still useful. Under Kei Chen's control, the ground under Captain Carter's feet suddenly rose up. Everything in the mirror space is under his control, even if it is a high-speed train, Kei Chen can control it at will. Captain Carter suddenly rose and immediately jumped up. She waved the vibranium shield in her hand, and the shield smashed out. The beast Hank couldn't dodge, so he could only choose to carry it hard. Poof. Hank's hands were almost cut by the vibranium shield, and he felt a little numb arm, and his body that had stopped had to exert force again. The vibranium shield collided at an angle and returned to Captain Carter's hand. In order to play with the shield well, but also to learn geometry, it is also difficult for her. I don't like hitting women. Beast Hank jumped in front of her and shouted. Hearing this, Captain Carter's expression became a little cold. Then you will be beaten. She didn't say anything that felt discriminated against, but used her fists to prove herself. In the parallel world, she can make two moves with the Scarlet Witch, although the end is very bad. But it's not comparable to Hank the Beast. As one of the members of the Illuminati, there is no strength to sit in that position. Poof, she raised her shield to block a punch from Hank the Beast, and then hit her opponent in the jaw with a downward hook. The Beast Hank has been beastly and is extremely tall. If it weren't for the fact that she was transformed by the super soldier serum and changed her height, I am afraid that she would not be able to hit the other party. Beast Hank did not expect that the woman in front of him was so powerful, and was directly beaten back a few steps. Subsequently, Captain Carter directly smashed a shield on his face, and immediately connected a set of military body punches. That is, the Beast Hank is a mutant, and the talent is still physical, otherwise he would have been unable to fight by this set of military body punches. He stood up from the ground tremblingly and looked at Captain Carter with some surprise. I saw Captain Carter looking at him defiantly and said, Come on, I can spend a whole day with you. Quote. Enough. Just then, Professor X shouted. He felt that the Captain Carter in front of him was like Captain Steve. Moreover, he always felt that the other party was a little familiar. It's a pity that he doesn't have much contact with S.H.I.E.L.D. and has no contact before, otherwise he would have recognized Carter. After all, Carter in the two worlds is still very different, and Captain Carter's height is much more exaggerated than Carter in this world. Of course, the only constant is the proud figure. We lost. Professor Charles admitted the gamble and lost it. He thought that even if the X-Men went together, they would probably not be the opponents of K. Chen's three. He couldn't see through Kei Chen's strength at all, so let's not say it. Lorna's strength is not inferior to the young Magneto Eric in his opinion. As for Captain Carter, 
Although she is just an ordinary human, not a mutant, and has no special abilities, she is able to defeat Hank, which is simply incredible. Can't you really tell us the whereabouts of Jean? Professor X asked anyway. K. Chen shook his head and said, I can only tell you that the piano is safe, and the power of the phoenix will no longer be her nightmare, all this is because of you, so don't make trouble anymore. Hearing K. Chen's words, Professor Charles X was also a little bitter. It turned out that in K. Chen's opinion, it had always been the result of his troublemaking. This made him a little shaken, could it be that Jean accepted that mysterious power at the beginning, would there be a different result? I believe your words, since the piano will get better, then I will not look for her anymore. Professor Charles X said so, and the whole person was a little relieved. He sensed in Jean's mind that it was a force that could destroy the world. If you don't care, no one knows what crazy things Jean will do. Now that it's okay, he relaxes too. K. Chen unlocked the mirror space, and the X-Men did not stay much, just took a deep look at a few people and left directly. In the quaint room, Supreme Mage Ji Yu Yi was closing his eyes tightly, and his whole person was floating cross-kneeled in midair. Her hands kept changing gestures, and an artifact handed down by Karmataj from ancient times was worn by her neck. At this time, the artifact opened, as if an eye had opened its own eyes. The eyeball inside is a green gemstone. Eyes of Agamotto. Koichi had also thought that this was his own eye left by Master Agamotto. Later, she learned that it turned out to be a time gem one of the original stones of the universe. But no matter what it was, after she used the ability of the time gem, Furuchi was a little fond of the thrill of spoilers. She can see from countless timelines anything that has happened before, now, and in the future. This made Ji Yuyi think that she could control everything in the world, and as long as she followed the established future, there was nothing she couldn't do. But she soon discovered the pain it all brings. She must bear not to spoil other people, let alone interfere at will. It is even sometimes eaten back by time. He thought he was in control, but in the end he found out that he had exceeded his expectations. This also made Ji Yu Yi have a sigh. When you play with time, time also plays with you. But let her give up the river of time, Ji Yu Yi is far from being able to do it. At this time, she uses the time gem to peek into the future. In countless timelines, she finally found examples of Jean's success. Lorna frantically vented the pressure in her heart until she softened beside Kei Chen. Kei Chen patted her white back, and Lorna really relaxed a lot. But with that comes endless exhaustion. She looked at Kei Chen and said, Why am I not your opponent? During this time, Kei Chen exercised every day, and sure enough, it had a certain effect, and he easily broke through Lorna's defense with the ball in both hands, and he didn't feel tired yet. Football skills are such a thing, as long as you train hard and work hard, you will feel the change little by little, and become confident and invincible on the court. In the end, you can kill your girlfriend to the point of losing your armor. But the truth is understood, where to find a female golfer who can play? K. Chen smiled proudly and said, Feng Shui takes turns. It must be that you are in good shape today. Lorna disagreed. She is very ambitious. She just wants to possess K. Chen by herself, if she admits that she can't solve K. Chen by herself. Wouldn't that be snatched away by others? Now that the situation of mutants has improved, you can also hang out and play. K. Chen said to Lorna. Lorna lay in his arms, drawing circles on him, not knowing who she was cursing. Nope. Lorna immediately refused. She still likes to be an otaku girl. When I'm interested, let's travel the world. Lorna put the matter in check. K. Chen also nodded when he heard this, traveling around the world. It seems pretty good. I'll go down first. Then he got up and went downstairs, but Lorna was lazy and didn't want to get up. She is getting more and more salty. It seems that this is such a personality. Once there is no pressure brought by outsiders, she would rather be a house girl than take half a step out of the door. Erica is different. She likes power and profit more, and she has always been particularly enthusiastic about them. That's why there is less and less time to meet. But Kei Chen didn't care, Captain Marvel, he hadn't seen him for several years. As for Captain Carter, he has been quiet and always seems to be reminiscing about his glory days. She gave Kei Chen a feeling that the sea in the new era no longer had a ship to carry her. However, those old ships have long been scrapped, 
and it is impossible for her to adapt to the old times even if she goes back. She is not like Captain Steve, who has a loved one waiting for her after World War II. The only concern may be her family. But it's been so long, her family. Therefore, Paige seems more and more calm, like a grain of sand in time. Kei Chen sat next to her, directly on her shoulder. Paige's nose moved, then she pushed him. Go get breakfast. Why did you drive me away? You're all smelling of Lorna. Kei Chen was a little helpless, it seems that the super soldier is not good at everything, and his nose is too sensitive. But he also honestly came to eat the breakfast prepared by Paige. Paige makes an English breakfast, including main dishes, side dishes, bread, drinks. The dishes are very rich, unlike the families on the American side, where bread and milk are generally paired casually. The English breakfast is served on a large plate, so you can enjoy it at will. Kei Chen doesn't like to eat bread, especially toast, Lona can't even use a bread machine, always bakes paste, which makes Kei Chen even more repulsed. On the contrary, it was the English breakfast made by Paige, which made him always like it. Ding dong. At this time, the doorbell of the courtyard was rung, and Paige walked out curiously. Although it was Jean Grey and the X-Men who found it again, it didn't have much impact on their lives. After all, this group of guys is not bad people either. In addition, Lorna is also an otaku girl, and she has not been discovered by S.H.I.E.L.D. Therefore, Kei Chen did not know who was coming. Soon Paige came in, holding an envelope in her hand. It's the 21st century, and it's a bit old and strange to still use envelopes. What is it? Kei Chen asked while drinking milk. Drinking milk after the battle can make up for the lack, which is very good. Paige sat across from him and handed him the envelope. The pair of heavy abysses were staring at him in front of him, and he was also staring at the abyss. Especially Paige was too big to put it down, so she could only hold it on the table, so that Kei Chen forgot to take the envelope. This is given to you by someone else, as if inviting you to join some club. Paige glared at him, and only then did Kei Chen come to his senses. He smiled and took the envelope. There was a pattern on the affix on the envelope, which seemed to be some jazz sign. Kind of like a gentleman. Paige also felt that this thing was a bit British, so she sat down. As soon as Kei Chen opened it, he immediately saw the words on it. Hellfire Club. Kei Chen looked at the name of this club, and a smile suddenly appeared on his face. Dear Mr. Ketchen, due to your growing influence, the club specially invites you to the party in seven days, and sincerely invites you to join the Hellfire. Club, club member Tony Stark recommends. As Kei Chen's banknote ability became stronger and stronger, he was naturally targeted. When many people have money, they naturally want power. The Hellfire Club seems to be such an organization. But Kei Chen, as a person who knows the world, knows more about this organization. The Hellfire Club was originally established in Great Britain in the 18th century. It is associated with King James I and preserves his account of mysterious events that took place in the 16th and 17th centuries. In the 60s of the 18th century, it developed into a social club for the British social elite. The club not only provided recreational entertainment that challenged the morality of the time, but also provided a means of consolidating the economic and social standing of its members in the United Kingdom. Some of the club's heavyweights moved to colonial New York in the 80s of the 18th century, where they founded the new American Hellfire Club. That is, what is now the Hellfire Club. But then, the Hellfire Club was controlled by mutants. The most important titles in the Hellfire Club are Black King, White King, Black Queen and White Queen. The first generation of the Black King, that is, Sebastian Shaw, is the existence who was killed by Professor X and Magneto. Kei Chen originally thought that after the death of the Black King, the Hellfire Club would disappear. But apparently it is not so simple, it is impossible to tie the club to the life and death of one person. Because today's Hellfire Club can be called a collection of the most powerful and powerful people in the world. Even Tony Stark joined the Hellfire Club. The reason is simple, the location is hereditary. His father, Howard Stark, was a member of the Hellfire Club. Now, on Tony's recommendation, Kei Chen has also been invited to join the Hellfire Club. This Hellfire Club, as terrifying as Hydra, has been joined by many powerful people and can change the pattern of the world. And on the surface, 
he is just a club organization, and many rich people will join similar organizations. Who would have thought that mutants were secret? Of course, he also does not believe that mutants can control all this, after all, the rich are not fools. Are you going to participate? Paige asked. Of course, there's nothing wrong with going and seeing. K. Chen said with a smile, he was still curious about what this party was for. Do you just wear Zoro's mask and play some games that rich people love to play? In the midst of the ice and snow, there is a secret base hidden underneath. The Red House, as an organization established by the Harry Bear after World War II, was originally called, Leviathan. This is a sea monster that symbolizes evil in the Bible. Since Drakov took over, it has radiated a new luster. The training of Black Widow is getting more and more perfect. Yelena stood in the middle of the field, holding her hands high. Two years after her sister Natasha, but she also became Black Widow, and after Natasha's defection, she became the best Black Widow. At this moment, she defeated her enemies and enjoyed the cheers of the victors. Most importantly, she was able to escape this nightmarish place and go out on a mission. Maybe like Natasha, he can defect from the disgusting organization of the Red House. Black Widows have no loyalty to the Red House at all. But she didn't know that at this time, Drykov looked at Yelena in the field and said to Melina on the side, You, as her mother, should know that Yelena has a fatal weakness. Quote, Ha, huh, Melina also had a smile on her face, she was ready to retire. But hearing Drakov's words, his heart suddenly froze. Yelena always had someone in mind, and this became her weakness. Drakov said with a smile on his face. Melina gradually felt bad in her heart. Can you tell me who it is? Drykov asked, looking at Melina. Melina immediately shook her head with a serious expression. He grabbed Melina's hair and said, Natasha betrayed us, and she is also your daughter. I don't like Yelena for betraying our organization like her. I don't know who it is. Melina knew who it was, of course, but she couldn't possibly say it. She was very nervous inside. Natasha defected too anxiously, which completely plagued both of them. Actually, Natasha didn't think about it that much at the time, she only had hatred for the Red House in her heart. Therefore, when he received Hawkeye Patton's recruitment, he immediately defected to S.H.I.E.L.D. But this killed Melina and Elena. The two of them are still in the Red House after all. It's just that Natasha doesn't know. I don't know. Drakov looked a little disappointed. He felt that the most powerful subordinate around him was not very reliable. I heard you're abdicating. He looked at Melina and asked. Yes, I'm tired, Melina said nervously in her heart, but at this time, she naturally couldn't back down. Who wouldn't want to leave the Red House? It's just that Drykov clearly doesn't want her to get her wish. He looked at Melina and smiled, you're still so young, Melina. Your appearance has not changed at all from a few years ago, and I am already old. Drykov looked at the charismatic Melina, she really didn't change. It stands to reason that the shelf life of the Harry Bears woman is not so long, which has also become an unsolved mystery of the Red House. It is precisely because of this that Melina wants to leave the Red House, and she does not want to be sliced by the Red House one day. Only she knew best, not only did she not grow old, but she was much younger, like 18 or 20 years old. She didn't know what all this was about, and she couldn't suspect Kei Chen. I agree with you to go to rest, but you can't leave the territory of the hairy bear. Drakov spoke. Melina still wanted to fight for it, but seeing Drakov's cold eyes, she immediately said, I know. She also knew how difficult it was to get out of the bear as an agent of the Red House. It's just that, it's just a little reluctant. As for Yelena, Drakov laughed as he looked at Yelena in the field. There is always a way for her to be faithful to me. Natasha's betrayal is an eternal pain in Drykov's heart. Melina felt a chill behind her, she didn't know what Drykov wanted to do, but she had heard some wind before. Drykov was very dissatisfied with Natasha's betrayal, so after her betrayal, he began to frantically study how to control his black widow. Melina didn't know if he had succeeded, but just thinking about it makes her feel terrifying. But it had nothing to do with her anymore, she was taken down. Yelena, who became the best Black Widow, was brought to Drakov's side. Yelena, I give you a chance to take revenge, this is also my task. Drykov looked at Yelena and laughed. 
Yelena looked at him expressionlessly. After several years of growth, she had changed from a little princess to a girl, and her face was still flesh. Go kill Natasha. Hearing Drykov's words, a look of hatred flashed in Yelena's eyes. Seven days passed, and Kei Chen drove his car to the location of the Hellfire Club. The headquarters of the Hellfire Club was originally an abandoned church. But after so many years of hard work, the original abandoned church has become the official residence of the Hellfire Club. It's only a few blocks away from the Avengers headquarters. It is located on Fifth Avenue on the east side of Manhattan, where every inch of land is expensive, and the Hellfire Club is located here, which shows its strength. At night, it is full of luxury cars. In fact, this kind of thing can be seen everywhere, it looks like a party of rich people, but those entertainers who want to climb to the sky can't squeeze in. Hellfire Club gatherings are more focused on communication between members. If you have any cooperation and ideas, you can talk about it. The former Hellfire Club is ambitious and vainly trying to build a world of mutants. But under the blows of the X-Men, all this has disappeared. Even many of the managers of the Hellfire Club are not mutants, and naturally they can't talk about building a mutant world. Now the gathering is a little bit more pure. After Kei Chen got off the car, he was immediately received by a waiter. Is there an invitation? The waiter asked Kei Chen respectfully. Kei Chen took out his invitation, and the waiter looked at it and immediately let go. Distinguished guests need to wear masks to enter the club. And a mask? Kei Chen asked. Because many members do not want to reveal their true identities, please understand. The waiter said respectfully, and Kei Chen also randomly chose a mask when he heard this. Bat mask. Although this is useless in his opinion, people who know will still see it, but this is blocked from being seen by strangers. It's a rule that when you go out of the Hellfire Club, don't talk about these things. When he came in, Kei Chen was still looking forward to whether there would be anything exciting. But when I came in, I was disappointed. The members sat together and drank, most of them men, even women. Without a certain amount of power, you can't get here at all. People like Tony Stark are young people. You know, Tony is close to 30 years old. It seems that even if the rich want to play, they will not play on such occasions, otherwise what a shame. Kei Chen lamented that those movies and everything was deceptive, in fact, those celebrities who wanted to fly on the branches and become phoenixes could not even enter the door of this high-end party. Unless personally invited by the host of the party. Of course, it does not mean that there are no young and beautiful figures here, but these are maids. Naturally, it is impossible for the rich to be interested in these maids, and at most they are regarded as eye-pleasing items. If you ask them how they live so long with gray hair, they will definitely tell you the secret, which is to look at beautiful women every day. Wonderful things that can make people feel refreshed. Mr. Ketchen. At this moment, a maid dressed as a bunny girl came to Kei Chen's side. He has a protruding figure, blonde hair, and recognizable green eyes. No wonder those LSPs like to party. I am. Kei Chen got the suit on his body, which was specially selected by Paige for him, although it looked a little old-fashioned gentleman's clothes, but Kei Chen liked Paige's aesthetic. The master is waiting for you inside. The bunny girl maid spoke. Kei Chen's eyes narrowed slightly, it seemed that this mysterious person wanted to see him. Hence the borrowed name of Tony Stark. Tony obviously didn't come to such a boring party, because there was nothing he liked here. Lead the way, Kei Chen thought for a while and said. He didn't have anything to fear, at this time, his strength was extremely strong, even in the face of Odin, there was no panic. And the most powerful supreme mage on the earth, Ji Yi, he has seen it, what are you afraid of? After all, his life-saving skills are now full. The bunny girl made through him a wink, turned and twisted her body and walked forward. Her steps are like catwalks, twisting and twisting, full of style. Kei Chen looked at it appreciatively, and there was no movement. The bunny girl maid was a little disappointed, she really wanted to hang a rich man, but these rich people obviously couldn't look at these maids. The status gap is too big to waste even a night's time. She took Kei Chen all the way to the inside of the club. Since this was originally a church renovation, it covered a large area, and directly took Kei Chen to the innermost part of the club. Open the door, and there is still a passage underneath. Through the spiral staircase of this passage, it is possible to go underground. 
The master is below, we can't go in. The bunny girl maid said embarrassedly to Kei Chen. Seeing that she was telling the truth, Kei Chen also nodded. Just a little complaining in my heart, is your master a vampire? Engage in such a gloomy place. But, he still walked boldly. The bunny maid did not close the door, but waited on the passage. Torches hang next to the spiral staircase, and pictures of gloomy and dark castles hang on the corridors. Coming to the underground floor, Kei Chen immediately saw a red sofa and a table. On the table were two glasses of red wine like blood, and on the red sofa lay a lazy woman. Kei Chen also thought that the owner of the rabbit girl's maid would be a man, but he didn't expect it to be a woman. Thinking about it, the black king is dead, and the white king is not sure who it is. As for the woman in front of her, she was wearing a black pocket and black leather pants, and her long silky hair was also black, indicating her identity. Black Queen. After all, even her lips were as black as poison. Kei Chen and her looked at each other, and the Black Queen's eyes were full of curiosity and temptation. Celine. Kei Chen walked over and sat directly and generously opposite her. Kei Chen, who took such an initiative, made the Black Queen more interested. Yes, can I call you Kei Chen? The names of the Chinese people, Americans do not pronounce well, so they can only read the full name. In order to follow the customs, others will take an English name, but Kei Chen does not like that. Kei Chen nodded and looked at the Black Queen. No wonder he felt that the name Celine was a little familiar at that time, it turned out to be the name of the Black Queen. It's just that at the time he didn't remember. Celine lived for at least thousands of years, and even longer than the apocalypse. At first, people thought she was just a powerful witch, but in fact she was a mutant with a long lifespan. It may even be the real earliest mutants. Because there were already many mutants at the time of the apocalypse, Celine's period was different. Why is she looking for herself? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.